Yo! What's going on, everybody? You're watching Knicks Now by Chat Sports, and I am your host, Marshall Green, and I cannot wait for tip off as reinforcements are here and the New York Knicks are getting healthier and healthier as each day goes on. Still no OG in it, OB. Gonna, he's not playing tonight. Julius Randle is not playing tonight. But Mitchie, no snitchy, the blockness monster. Mitchell Robinson is going to be back in the lineup tonight. Give me those 23s in the comment section. I remember filming a video, and you know what? We'll pat ourselves on the back. If no one else is going to do it, I'm going to do it. Um, December 11th, Mitchell Robinson got hurt. Surgery was announced. And every single person under the sun said, Marshall, he's done for the year. He ain't coming back this year. That's why the Knicks applied for the injured player exception from the NBA. Marshall, how is he going to come back if they're going to apply for that? And I never, ever thought he was going to be out for the year. They said eight to ten weeks. And maybe it was just me believing in the Knicks medical staff, which I have learned you should never, ever, 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 ever do. Um, but I always believed he was going to come back. You can go back and you can check the videos on that. We did that. And I cannot wait to watch him play basketball. This is going to be a major addition to this lineup. I am expecting Isaiah Hartenstein to remain as the starting center for this team. I believe Mitch will come off the bench. And it will be a slow, gradual, game-by-game -game situation where he's going to have to work back into game shape. He's going to have to get his legs back under him. He's going to have to get in a feel, in a rhythm, get back in a groove. That's going to take a couple of games. But let's not forget the player that he was prior to the injury, which was the league's best offensive rebounder by a wide margin. He was on pace to set the best offensive rebounding rate for an NBA season since Dennis Rodman in the mid-90s. On top of that, he was, in my opinion, in the conversation for Defensive Player of the Year. Over a block per night, over a steal per night, he has one of the best uh, defensive uh, field goal percentages allowed when protecting shots at the rim. It is going to be a major boost. Will it take some time? Yes. Will he have to get back in a groove? Yes. But with him coming off the bench, he is going to be playing against second-team centers. This guy dominated Jared Allen in the playoffs last year, and Jared Allen had been an all-star before. Evan Mobley was supposed to be the next big thing in the NBA, and he made him look like his little brother for five games. Mitchell Robinson is a special player. He's going to make this team better. And Tom Thibodeau's got to be licking his chops because one day he's going to get to roll out a lineup with Deuce McBride, Josh Hart, OG Ananobia, and Mitchell Robinson. Just go, go, go. We got my guy Jeffrey Cooperstein in the build yes, today. Sir. Every time he's on the show, good things has happened. We Either don't win. Lose. People come back. We got Mitchell Robinson back in the building today. What a good time for the New York Knicks. It's awesome that Mitch is back and hopefully he can stay healthy the rest of the season. With the center rotation of Hartenstein and Mitchell Robinson, not sure there's a better one in the league there, Marsh. So that's a very good sign of things to come for the New York Knicks. That is, as Tibbs would like to say, 48 minutes of rim protection. Yes, it is. And, and that's, that's what he values. He always has a rim protector in the game. And he's got, in my opinion, two of the better guys in this league doing them. As Tom Downey's in the chat. Mr. Downey. Cheering for the Raptors is cheering against America. True. It is. It is. If you're a Raptors fan, you pretty much said F America. Somewhere. It's, it's kind of weird. Yeah. I mean, look, everybody do what you do. Um, but someone's watching. I don't know who, but somebody's watching. Big Dave in the building. What's up, man? What up, Big Dave? ACOC. Hanging out. Greg Williams, Vic87, Mel is in the building, AJ McMecca, Ty Man the Buckeye, Vic87, William U, Three Vincenzo, love that name. Maya's World is here, John Musgrove, Kevin, Michael Jordan, love that with an O, big difference. Um, let's ride. Let's freaking go. Before we dive any further into our pregame show, I do got to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. Check them out. If you think you know ball, turn your ball knowledge into some dollars. Do it at prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. Put 100 bucks in your account, and they'll match it, and they'll give you $100 for free. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players, and you simply choose more 
or choose less. Win big money and withdraw your winnings. That's my favorite part about prize picks is when you win the money, 877 cash now. It is your money. Let's ride. This is the lineup I'm rolling with tonight. I know Dante DiVincenzo had a major game, set the all-time most threes made in the game record for the Knicks. I don't want to, I'm not wishing him into a uh, bad game, but I'm going to go with the less on his points, rebounds, and assists. I think this could be a blowout, and I could see Tibbs, or maybe I don't see Tibbs playing the rest in the starters, but maybe there. I, I like that one. I just like that one. And Bruce Brown, um, the Dollar Tree, Josh Hart, I'm going to go with the less on his points, rebounds, and assists. You can roll with my picks or fade my picks, but I kindly ask if you do play daily fantasy sports, you do it with our proud sponsor, Price Picks. Price Picks is awesome. We love having them as a sponsor. It's an awesome opportunity for us. But the only way to keep them around is if you show some love to the sponsor. So um, I'm, I'm kindly asking you to do so. Play Price Picks. PricePicks.com slash CLNS. And remember to use that promo code CLNS. Let's go. Johnson, you in the building says, yo, my favorite producer. Let's effing go. Basically secured our win. Uh, more or less, yes. I, I think I've lost one game uh, this season and in the last two seasons. And and I don't even count that last one necessarily no, as a loss. Nobody was playing. Nobody was playing. Um, Brunson didn't play. It was the game of the trade deadline day? Yes, it was day trade deadline the, day, yes. Trade deadline day. Um, that doesn't even count. Doesn't count. We didn't have anybody. Um, we're getting closer to having everybody back, though. Still need to get Randall back. Still need to get Ananobi back. I just want to see a defense with Ananobi and Robinson on the floor together. I, I, so does that, Tibbs. That, those are two game records. Yeah, absolutely. It, to see those two guys on the court together, he, they kind of take up the entire, entire That's court. That's a lot of by length. Themselves. Exactly. It's a lot of length. It's a lot of defensive playmaking on the floor. And I kind of like the idea of, look, I don't know if Randall's going to come back. I'm almost starting to just, if he comes back, Cool. If not, that's kind of the expectation for me of Coop just putting Brunson out there saying, go to work offensively, and we're just going to build a wall behind No you. question. You, you get Ananobi, you're going to have Robinson, you got Josh Hart, you got DiVincenzo flying around, um, still got pressure that you could play the four. Hartenstein, we know how electric he's been. Just building like an ultimate wall behind him saying, you go score, uh, we got your back on the defensive now, end. Now, wasn't there a report the other day that said, Randall's pushing the play? Yes, there was a report that came out that behind closed doors, Julius Randall is pushing the Knicks to let him play. He has been working in con – love the, term the terminology we've learned from some of these Knicks injuries. They are allowing him to have um, controlled contact. He is in the controlled contact part of his rehab. Still not cleared for contact, but controlled contact, whatever that is, He's allowed to do that. I assume it's the coach with the pad. That's exactly what that <laughs> Hitting is. him on the layup <laughs> lines, like, sure. Um, but we've seen him for about two weeks now really start to get into a pregame routine, Randall, where he's going hard while everyone else is warming up. He'll walk off the floor drenched in sweat, putting in work. He just hasn't cleared that last hurdle of being cleared for contact. I don't know when that comes. I don't know if that does come. But I think we all know that it's going to just be a pain tolerance and – the ability to move that arm, even For though it's sure. not going to be 100%. Like, he needed surgery. Doctors told him that. He's going to do it in the offseason. I think you just, life's giving you lemons. Let's try to make lemonade at it. You'd like for him to play at least five games in the regular season to get ramped up for the postseason. So, we'll I've, see what happens there, but you, you want him to play a little bit here. I have come to the conclusion that if he is not ready to go with five games left, just shut him down. Yep. because. I don't want to go into a similar situation of last year versus the Cavs where it's do or die and we're having Randall play his way back into shape, into a groove, into a rhythm, into an NBA playoff type of atmosphere. That doesn't bode well for anybody. So if Randall's not ready to go the last five games of the season, get surgery, be ready to go for game one of 82 next year. Um, I don't think the Knicks can benefit from Randall trying to get back to 100% in a playoff game. Like Executive producer and Raptors fan Sam Brown's in the chat. Sam Brown is Raptors in the chat. Fan is a fraudulent you hate America too? No, I love America. I hate Canada. He likes France. Not a big fan. Kanye over Drake. Kanye over Drake? That's a little crazy. America, bitch. He did run for president. Kanye did run for president. I might, I might write him in on my ballot. 
He was not successful, but he did. He was not successful. Never, never. Maya's World says, what's up, Marshy Green, and also Mr. Koopy from the Dallas Mavericks report. What's up, Maya's World? Hello, Maya's World. How, how we doing? Johnson, you says, would you let Hardenstein keep playing in the starting spot? I Hart and Brunson got the nice pick and roll game. Yeah. Um, that'd be a cool Brun uh, jersey swap. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would 100% bring Mitchell Robinson off the bench. I think, I, yeah. I, I think he is a better player than Isaiah Hardenstein, but I think Hardenstein in the starting lineup just kind of opens things up more for this team. Like what Mitch does compared well, which compares to what Hardenstein does well. Hardenstein, the offensive possession isn't over when he touches the ball. A lot of times he's the initiator of the offense, whether it's a dribble handoff, whether it's a backdoor pass to a backdoor cut, whatever it may be. But on top of that, he's also a guy defensively that, in my opinion, is a better switch defender. I think he does a better job of moving his feet on the perimeter, and he's actually number two in the NBA in points per possession when guarding the roll man, the pick setter, yes. a.k.a. the roll man in the pick and roll, whereas Mitchell Robinson is the number one offensive rebounder in the NBA. And I feel like he kind of crowds the spacing a little bit at times because he's only really – able to give you any sort of offensive production on a lob or out of the dunker spot. But what he does best is obviously rebound the ball and defend the rim. And doing that against a second team's front line, I think could really have a huge impact on a game in the playoffs. Absolutely. And I believe, I would imagine Mitch is on some sort of a minute restriction, right? To begin this Absolutely. little run here. So he's probably on, I would say a 20-ish minute minute restriction. I don't know that for sure. It just makes sense to bring him off the bench right now, especially given the way Hartenstein's played this year. We were talking a little bit before the show. I think Hartenstein's made himself a lot of money here uh, in free agency this summer, and I think that maybe you need to see uh, – I, I just think he's he's the one that's playing the best right now, and he's playing the best basketball of his career, and he has to be in yeah. there in the starting lineup. The Knicks were the best team in the NBA record-wise in the month of January with Hartenstein in the starting lineup. Um, he gives you another guy that can score – when it comes to touching the ball below the free throw line, he's got that push shot. He can get to it at any time. He's almost been automatic at that. And we've also seen that Brunson and Hartenstein are starting to put together a really, really solid two-man game. Uh, look, they're both really good. And that's a good problem to have. Who do you want to start? Who do you want to close games? Tibbs is going to have to make some tough decisions. No question. Um, but that's what we're going to have to rock and roll with. As my guy Eric Trump coming in with a $20 super chat. Shout out to Eric Trump. He's always getting this piece started on the channel. We appreciate it, brother. He says, let's effing go, Knicks. Knicks, greater than the crafters. Go for the win, boys. Go get that third seed. Dante's going to carry a load again tonight. Still F Rolly. It's always F Rolly. Always F Rolly. Let's just get him going in the chat. He's at home right now, probably doing nothing. Um... Get the F rollies. A little weird he didn't come to work today. I Very weird that he did not come to work today. Very weird also uh, that Patrick Seatman did not want to do the watch yeah, party. He, he, Marshall asked him yesterday if he wanted to do it, and Pat's like, no, nah, I'm good. Patrick Seatman, he's right out there, um, not, not doing the watch party tonight. He says, I don't want to hang out with all the real ones. Makes you question where, where his loyalty, if there is anything inside of him that's loyal, where, where he's at. Rebel Montana says both went home. What's up, Rebel? Rebel? I didn't know you were in the chat, brother. What's up, Rebel Montana? Rebel Montana. Jay Lib says Marsh Coop. Mitch Rob is back. Of course. Yes, he is. Mitchell Robinson will be playing for the first time in a basketball game since the beginning of December. Starting to get a little worried about this. I don't know what's going on here. Yep, I'll... Uh... I'll ah. do some investigating here momentarily. <laughs> Hopefully the, the app reset, turn off, on maybe works. But, uh, yeah, we're having a little bit of trouble here. The studio's been giving us some trouble on the games. I feel like there's just something that's just not working. I don't know. Very let's weird. If, let's see if another game works. Um, yeah, not ideal. Tricky Nikki says, never trust a bull, and a seeps is a bull fan. True. Yep, no, that is true. That, no, there are no lies told there, brother. I'm here, brother. <laughs> What's up, brother? Oh, my God. Why are none of these working? 
That's brutal. Yeah, we got to get on that. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get on it. I don't know if that's, yeah. Jesus. All right, all right. Um, Johnson, you says, Marsh, you got to snatch Sneep Seeps' chain? Uh, that's kind of crazy. First Tom Foolery. I'm, I'm going to see if he's out there. I'm going to see if he's out there. If he is. Ah, uh, looks like he left. Looks like he got out of here. Looks like he got out of here. Anthony Danaher, what's up, man? Says, can't pick up the game. It's on TNT replacing the Hawks game. Is the game on TNT? No way. But it didn't even let me do the other game, so there's no way that's right. Danaher says it is on TNT, but I don't know if it, if it is for us because... My app doesn't say that. As, Yeah, uh, for us, it's going to be hockey. Bruins at Tampa Bay Lightning. That's what we're getting. We're getting hockey on TNT. Peter Wynn in the building. What's up, Peter? Game is, yeah. They usually don't do TNT games on Wednesday. I don't think they would have put it on ESPN. I think we would have known about that. I don't know what's going on with that. Johnson, you says it's on TNT. No, it's not, Johnson, you. It's a hockey game on TNT. You guys are you guys love to just lie to Marshy. You guys love to lie. Jay Lim says, Marsh, who are you taking if you're the Giants and Harrison or neighbors are available plus all if if Marvin Harrison Jr. is on the clock at pick number six, he is a New York Giant. Um, oh, it's on TNT in Australia. They don't do hockey in Australia? In Australia, I got you. I got you. My bad. Will says, did I see Carl's comment? No, I did not. What did he say? I did not see Carl's comment. He says, yo, Marsh, what a day. Just got my youngest daughter her first car. Dude, I need Jake from Steak Farm. Carl, that's awesome, brother. Shout out to you, man. Carl, keep being a great dad. Um, there's not enough of those in this in this place. So shout out to you, man. Um, that's that's awesome. That's awesome. Frank Serrano in the building. What's up, Frankie? What's up, Frank? Um, Terrence Myers. Yeah. What's up, dog? Raymond Bentley says number 23. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, their whole team is out. Yeah, a lot of players are injured for the Toronto Raptors. No R.J. Barrett. No Emmanuel Quickly. No Scotty Barnes. They're, they're, they're beaten up. They're bruised. Even though... It's not an injury, I believe, for Emmanuel Quickly or Barrett. I believe they are out due to personal reasons. <laughs> no, no actual real one. Fancy says it's going to be a mauling. Hopefully, hopefully. Kent Neal says, what up, Marshall? Let's get this win, bro. I'm with you, Kent. I'm with you. Uh, Tricky Nicky says, let Mitch rest. I don't think we need him. It's not the fact that we need him, but we do need him to start playing and getting in shape. And I'd rather him come back tonight than a game – on Thursday where you play the Oklahoma City Thunder and it's going to be a high-intensity game. So I'm excited for him to play tonight. I don't know what's going on there. You want to check if it's coming on any other TVs with a fire stick? So stupid, man. Anthony Danaher, what up? What up, Bank? She banging on me on the bank. What's up, man? Sam Smith says, will be my first time seeing Mitch play. Yeah, it is. First time in 2024 we're going to see Mitchell Robinson get some action. Three Vincenzo says, this is what we call a trap game, fellas. Um, I don't believe in trap games. That, uh, there, there's no such thing as a trap game, in my opinion. If you lost to a lesser team, that just means you weren't ready to play. I don't think you should get a, a, a built-in excuse for losing to a lesser team. But... That's just me. That's just me. Tricky Nikki says, I just hope we're not rushing anything is all. Yeah, I don't think you are. Uh, or I don't think we are. But, yeah, I'm with you. I hope we aren't rushing him. I think he's ready to roll, though. I think he's ready to roll. Carlos Rivera. My man, what's up? Levi says our center spot is actually insane. It is. Uh, 48 minutes of rim protection coming from Isaiah Hartenstein as well as Mitchell Robinson. So, you're, you've already been one of the best defensive teams in the league this year, and I can't wait to see a defensive lineup that features OG, 
and Mitch, as well as maybe a McBride or Josh Hart. I can see the giant, uh, Giants. I can see the Knicks closing games in the playoffs where it's like Brunson, McBride, Hart, OG, and Robinson. And, and Tibbs is like, Brunson, you carry the offense. We're going to try to beat this team two to nothing in the fourth quarter. Oh, I don't know if I can, if I can get with that term yet. Uh, I think it's a little too soon, and I think I could be canceled if I say that. So I see all the kids are saying it these days. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that up here, though. But I'm with you, Anthony Dana. I love that. Joey DeLuca, my man, what's up? Shout out to Joey DeLuca coming in with a dollar super chat. We appreciate you, man. Um, my guy. Anthony Dana Hurst says, fair, fair. Look, I know, I know funny, and that shit's funny as hell. Uh, I just don't know if uh, if I'm allowed to say that yet. If we are allowed, I'm going to be saying that a lot. Shout out to Joey DeLuca in the building. Always here, always showing love. That's my guy. Vasquez is here. He says, so happy the Blockness Monster is back. He is. He is back. Um, Mitch, going to be back. He is not starting as the starting lineup was announced. It's going to remain Brunson, McBride, DiVincenzo, Hart, and Hartenstein. It's going to stay with those four guys, uh, five guys. Really? That's a problem. Yeah, maybe. It wasn't working on any of the TVs? Has there ever been a shutout in the NBA? I don't think so. Uh, Joey, Joey says, just got off, brother. Ready for the game? Let's go. I'm ready for the game, too. I'm ready for the game, too. Still probably about 10 minutes away from tip-off, so make sure you have hit that thumbs-up icon. 330 people watching, only 65 likes. Rookie numbers, please hit that thumbs-up icon. And if you have liked the video, comment me down below uh, so I know who the real ones are. So I know who the real ones are. Anthony Danaher, my man. Carl says, word F Rolly. Love it. Banks says, I wish OG got to play. Vasquez says, do we have two top 10 centers? If they're both healthy, I think they are at least two of the top 16, 15 centers in this league. Vontae Lyles, my man. What's up, big dog? I actually ran into a real one today. I was coming back from my doctor's appointment this morning. I stopped to get gas, and some dude was like, hey. And I was like, yo. And he was like, chat sports, Marshall Green. And I was like, my man, what up? And then he was like, I'm a real one. I'm a real one. And then he was, yeah, that was pretty cool. My guy, Bruce. My guy, Bruce. Hopefully he's in the chat tonight. Would love to see him. It was pretty cool, though. <laughs> I'm a real one. I was freaking dead. I was dead. I was also like half awake. Bank says Mitchell got big shoulders. Not going to lie. Hey, yo. Tricky Nicky says J.J. McCarthy on the Vikes. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Giants would be lucky to have him, though, in my opinion. Daniel Jones ain't that dude. I'm with you. Xavier Morrow says it's on MSG. We know. We're just having some, some technical difficulties here in our studio. We're not, we're not, we're not good, brother. What do we do here, brother? My guy Nick Davidov in the building. What's up, bro? Roly has that one login that has M MSG. N no. How do you get on there, though? Well, get it. Oh, ho, ho! Nick DeVito! Bang! My guy, Nick DeVito! Coming in with a $50 super chat. 
Shout out to Davidov. Mitchell Robinson is back. Are you at the game, Davidov? It is in Canada. So um, I don't know if you're there. But Davidov's got a passport. Davidov, yeah. His, his passport book is inked out. Ink my whole passport. I don't give a mother. I think that's what the, cool, the kids were saying at one point. Shout out to Nick Davidov. Everybody drop an eyeball eyeball emoji in the chat for me. Shout he says Davidov. he's at the game. Davidov, enjoy it, my man. Tell Mitchell Robinson all the real ones are glad he's back. Let's go. The Bronx boy is in the building. What up, bro? Tom Saunders says, Marsh, Marsh, just pull what? Just pull what Nico son one flew over the Coco nest. Yo. I have no idea what that means. I hope that that doesn't get me canceled for saying that. I think there was a there was a there was probably a uh, typo there. There you go, it's my beef. Typo there. Knicks fan Brazil. What's up, Knicks fan Brazil? That's my guy. That's my guy right there. Niall Dimitri showing love to Nick Davidov. Mitch and OG playing together. ND coming out the gate strong. William Burton in the building. We got a whole bunch of real ones in in the chat. Um, if someone matches Nick Davidov's $50 super chat, we're starting today's show with a beer shotgun. Robinson's back. Let's get active. I'll match with the beer bong. Okay. Okay. Producer Coop saying he's matching with a beer bong. My guy CPJ in the building. What's up, CPJ? What up, man? Basquez says Nick Scott Fleece Raptors won the trade. Who are you trolling? Who are you trolling? Because it ain't me, because I know how you feel. Torn in the building. What's up, Torn? I, Levi's the best. I thought it was cute that Mark Berman tried to still double down on this take. Mark Berman's a joke. Mark Berman is a joke. Oh! Let's go, Bruce, Bruce Jackson! My man, Bruce Jackson. I saw him today at the gas station. Shout out to him. Cut him loose, deuce. He said he just moved to Dallas. My man just moved to Dallas. So I went to my doctor. So I live in downtown Dallas. I had to go up to Denton, Texas today, which for people that don't live here, that's about an hour north, an hour north of Dallas. I got to go there for my doctor's appointment. I'm driving home. I stop at this gas station named Bucky's. Bruce, I'm glad you've already been to Bucky's because that's a good spot right there. Um, I'm coming out of Bucky's and I'm watching, I'm walking to my car and like, I'm like not even paying attention. You and I hear it, someone Legend? go, yo. And I'm like looking around I'm like, huh? Smitty's he goes, him. He goes, chat sports. And I look up, I'm like, yo. He's like, Marshall Green. I'm a real one. I'm a real one. Shout out to my guy, Bruce. Everybody give me a Bruce in the chat. Brucey. That was dope. Um, Bruce, appreciate the love, brother. Uh, that was pretty cool, man. Uh, it must have been the widow's peak that you know. Had to be the peak. Nobody has a widow's peak better than me, Bruce. Uh, he says he just moved to Dallas from New York City. First week I bumped into Marsh. Now you're the number two Knicks fan in the D. Bruce, that's dope, man. Um, Look at what Tyler Smitty did. <laughs> Bruce. I'm from New York. So is Bruce. We ran into Bruce if you're, today. If you're from New York, why are you wearing that fraudulent ass sweatshirt? Marsh. We, we have some business to take care we of do. here. Bruce, that's mad love, bro. Hey, we got to catch the next game sometime. We'll grab some beers, do whatever, hit me. You know, you know where to find me, brother. As we just had a whole bunch of $50 Super Chats roll in. This one's what? rolling in from CPJ. He said, do it, ho. <laughs> All right. Shout out to CPJ. Everybody give me a CPJ in the chat as this one's rolling in, in from Anthony, Anthony Dana He said, let's start this off strong. Give me some ADs in the chat as the bang god is in the building. We got a three-point goal. goal. William Burton. Bang! Shout out 
to William Burton. Everybody showing major love. But we're not done. There's more. Because this one's rolling, rolling in, in from Peter Wynn. Bang! What a way to start the show off. The return of Mitchell Robinson. And it's about that time. It's about that time for the Knicks to put it in drive and get ready to do the damn thing. We are less than a month away from the playoffs starting. We're getting healthier and healthier as each day goes on. Warm for me, please. Holy shit. I was telling my story about how I saw my guy Bruce this morning at the gas station. Disrespectful to call it a gas station. That was Bucky. And then CPJ. Anthony Danaher, William Burton, and Peter Wynn. Back to back to back to back. Shout out to everybody in the building. That's major love, man. Um, God, that shit fires me up. That shit fires me up. I go run through a wall right now. You guys are dope. You guys are dope. Crazy, crazy, crazy MFers. Peter Wynn says, go New York, go New York, go! Go New York, go New York, go! Shout out to Peter Wynn. Peter Wynn, brother. There's nothing like a Knicks Now party when Peter Wynn is here. Shout out to Smitty as well. I also pop up that uh, way in two for me. Because... As you guys know, Patrick Seatman is not producing today. We actually have our good luck charm. It's at 260.55. I made a deal. Actually, I didn't make a deal with Patrick Seatman. Um, but once he told me that he didn't want to do the watch party tonight, and I had to find another producer to do it, I was like, you know, I know Coop's down. I know Coop is down to watch some ball, and I'm no, he, I know that he uh, is down to hang out with him, us. As Nick Davidoff says, OG is looking good. I see him practicing on the court. We got eyes and we got boots on the ground in Toronto. Um, shout to him. So Steve didn't want to be here. Moral of the story. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to put something. I'm going to put the ball in the real one's court. Let's go. The last show Patrick Seaman produced on Monday, we were able to get up to $985 in Super Chats. And I thought to myself, one, the real ones are going to appreciate that Coop stepped up to the plate when Seeps didn't want to. No question. But two, I wanted to make a game and a competition out of things. If we beat Patrick Seatman, if Coop, producer Coop and I beat the super chat total that Patrick Seatman posted on Monday, Seeps is our producer on Thursday. He has to start the show with a boot. That's the deal I'm making. If we beat $985 tonight, Patrick Seatman has to start Thursday's live stream with a boot. It's only fair. It's only fair. He has to start live stream Thursday with a boot. We get there, cool. If not, I say we make him pay. That, that's what I'm about. As Eric Trump, Trump. coming in with a $10 super chat, that gets him another raffle ticket to win Ooh. our signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo. Shout out to Eric Trump, always showing love. We appreciate you, man. Shout out, Trump. He says, bangerang, boys. Let's go get this win. Let's effing go, Knicks. F. Rolly. I got a beer shotgun. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Mitchell Robinson. <laughs> let's we go. Are so let's go, up. Knicks. We are so up right now. Robinson's back. Cheers, boys. Cheers, brother. Everyone spam those chugs in the chat. MG's getting it going with a beer shotgun. I just did a beer bong. Are we going crazy tonight? Let's do it. I'm just in that mode. I'm in that mode. We had a little spillage. A little That's spillage, okay. but <laughs> it don't matter. It's water. It ain't no thing. It ain't no thing. Rich Rob in the building, what up? Greeny says it's still F. Goble. 
It's always F. Goebel, my man. It's always F. Goebel. F. John Goebel? F. John. Yeah, that guy's such a pussy. <laughs> when he returned to MSG following that call where he cost the Knicks a win because of the call he made on Brunson against was Aaron he Hall. Getting, was he getting heckled? Oh, we F. Goebel all night long. I love that. We F. Goebel all night long. God, I hate him. All I night hate all long. officials. Let's go. Evan Penn, what up, man? What up, dog? You know what? If we get another fifty dollars super chat, I'm doing another beer shot. You're doing, you're, oh, I, 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 I'm just you're in that yourself? mode right now. I've been waiting for freaking six months. It feels like to see this team play healthy, and we're one step closer tonight. I know he's not starting. I know he's going to have to work his way back up to one hundred percent. But the start of the next season is today, in my opinion. It this feels now. like game one. It is now. The, the stretch to the playoffs begins now. It's now. It is. The it, pursuit of the title begins now. I uh, I predicted this, and this is me not bullshitting. I actually, my finals pick is Nick's Nuggets. That That's who I'm picking to go to the finals. I'm dead ass. Uh, it is, it's going to be the Knicks uh, versus the Dallas Mavericks in the finals. Knicks, Mavs? That would be that would be war. In would this you office. would you have to go to a game? We yeah, I'd have to go to a game. I'd spend I would spend every dollar I own going to a Knicks title game in Dallas. I I would legit I would ask for a small loan from the bank if no possible. No doubt. Eric! Oh! <laughs> Three point go. Eric drop. Trump, my man. He said, "Bangerang, F Rolly, let's F and go, Knicks." Let's he ride. Said, he says, "Knicks in the finals, man. Too much faith for the me this season." I just think there's something special about this team right now. I, I really do, and that may be me. Yeah, honestly, I may be too emotionally invested. You guys know I got a chip on my shoulder. Uh, I wear my emotions on my sleeve. I really believe in this team. I believe in the process. I believe in the way they go about playing the game. And I think the Knicks could have the best player in any series as long as Jalen Brunson is able to stay healthy. Um, and I think if this team is able to get back a healthy Robinson as well as a healthy OG, that they could seriously, um, they could seriously get to the finals. I believe that. I don't think the, the Boston Celtics do not want to play a healthy New York Knicks team. They simply don't. They simply don't. Who, who's keeping Robinson off the glass? Porzingis? Al Horford? Not a chance. Uh, if the Knicks, I don't even need a healthy Randall back. I think it helps. But I think if you get a healthy Mitch and a healthy OG, that team can get to the finals. Tell me I got to win seven games. Who am I choosing, Tatum or Brunson? Huh. It's not even close. It's not even close who I want. Um, I legit would take Dante DiVincenzo in a seven-game series over Jason Tatum. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Eric Trump. That, Smitty. F. Smitty. Eric Trump, my man, always coming through. Let's go. The New York Knicks rocking their road blues while the Raptors are wearing their reds as well. We love a color-on-color -color matchup. <coughs> Marsh loved that one. Anthony Danaher coming in with the 10. Anthony Danaher. Says, what's your thoughts on a Randall trade postseason? Let's see how the playoffs play out. <laughs> see how the playoffs we'll, play we'll out. We'll see. Um, Randall comes back, helps you win a championship. We ain't trading him. Um, but it's all going to matter. His, his future as a Nick is going to be determined, I think, here in the next four months if he does play. As we are under way. The Knicks will win the tip. If you haven't yet, please hit that thumbs up icon. Mitchell Robinson is back, but he will not start. It'll be Hartenstein. Brunson has it on the right wing. He'll be doubled. Hart has it. Throws it inside. Knicks are going to have to let a shot go as McBride has it in the corner. Oh, Deuce McBride from the corner keeps the hot streak going. He paints the scoreboard first. Mix up by three. Who Inter even is that? Interesting lineup tonight for the Raptors, dealing with a lot of injuries. Um, this is a game where Marshall's going to have to keep his head 
in the stat sheet because their players are people that I don't know all too well. I know Kelly Olenek starting Gary Trent as well as Ochai Abaji and Grady Dick, but they have a guy out there named Javon Freeman Liberty. Yes. Never heard of him. I'm, He's out I'm there, somewhat familiar with his work. As Abaji drives to the paint, loses the ball. That's a turnover. Nick's ball going that way. Former uh, DePaul Blue, Blue Demon. Is that where he's from? He is from DePaul. Is he a rook? Uh, I believe the second year. Josh Hart has it up top. He'll get into Hart and Stye on the right wing, who hands it off to Brunson. Brunson has some space. He'll drive on Owinick. Drop off pass to I. Hart has it in the lane. He'll go up with it. And one, Isaiah Hartstein! All created off the screen he set for Brunson to free him off ball. Brunson caught it, turned the corner. He got doubled, and then he freaking slipped it in there on a great pass. Hartenstein bodies Ochai Abaji, and he finishes through the contact. This might be a walk in the park for the next. Aleu uh, <laughs> Shameen Reitler, writer. I don't think I, there's three names there. I think I went 0 for 3. Says, where's the beer belch? We're in a good spot. We're two beers in, no belch needed. Hardenstein makes the free throw, nicks up six. Grady Dick has it on the left wing. He'll pump fake and drive, now kicks it back out to Olenek. Gary Trent's going to handle. He'll try to drive on Deuce, gets into the paint, and he'll lay it up off a little floater. Six to two, still 10.30 to go. Brunson walks it up. Now the Knicks will move it around the perimeter. Hart will find Brunson. He's at the logo, guarded by Grady Dick. Going to get a screen from Hartenstein. In and out dribble, gets by Olenek, drives to the baseline, drops it off to Deuce for three. Good! Deuce McBride, two for two from distance. Nick's up by seven early here in Toronto. The Deuce is loose. She is loose, brother. As Gary Trent's going to take Brunson into the post, missed it. And then Josh Hart and Isaiah Hartenstein fight for the rebound, and it goes out of bounds. Oh, uh, a little overzealous there, the New York Knicks are. Josh Hart and Grady Dick jersey swap this jumping you. Hart, who stands first? As Trent throws it in, Grady from the corner, good! Oh! oh! <laughs> C-P-J! Bang! Brunson gets it to a rolling Hartenstein who drops it off to Hart. Hart relocates to Deuce for three. Good! Deuce McBride! Do, do, do! Three made threes in the first three minutes. The Knicks are on fire north of the border. Give me some CPJs in the chat. He says, I agree with you on that, Marsh. I think we only need a healthy OG. And also keep your eye on the Suns and Clippers situation. Booker and Ty Lu after the season is over, of course. Ty Lu is not someone you want as the head coach of the Knicks. Is Ty Lu a good coach? He's good. I think he's good. He is not he is not significantly better than Tom Thibodeau. I am very interested to see how the Clippers play in the postseason. I think I think Lou did a great job with LeBron, um, and I think he's done a good job as well with the Clippers. They, uh, I'm right there with you, CPJ. We're going to learn a lot about the New York Knicks plans going forward with what happens around the league as well. Booker, CAA Mafia. Suns losing round one? Keep my eyes on that. New Orleans loses in round one? Keep my eyes on that. Um the Clippers are now the fifth seed in the West. They've fallen off over the last couple of weeks. And you have, I, I saw James Harden called out Ty Lue, and then Ty, Ty Lue, Lue called out James off. Harden. Um, you are right, brother. You're right, brother. Um, CPJ, you are always ahead of things. You're always ahead of things, brother. You are always ahead of things. You, you, you. You've got a good nose there. You got a good nose there. Um, what? And maybe it's not Ty Lue. Maybe it's Paul George who leaves. And we know the Knicks were interested in Paul George last off. I love Paul George. Paul George He's Brunson so OG. <laughs> That's a guaranteed title. <laughs> oh man, CPJ, I'm with you, brother. You know how I feel. You know how I feel about Tibbs. Melbster says Deuce on the loose, possessed like a moose. Defense playing duck, duck, goose. Bars. <laughs> Bar? Bars. 
Let's go, man. Nick's up big here early in the first. Paul George too old, he says. Well, come be like the fourth player next to Brunson, OG, and Randall. Though I will say this, as OG and Anobi on the Knicks bench gets a standing ovation in Toronto, NBA champion um, with them. Good to see OG get some love from the Toronto fans. That's pretty cool. That is dope. Now I'll go put some ice on your elbow, brother. Ice on the elbow. 395 games with them. So 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. He did seven years with Toronto? Seven years, yep. Good for OG to get that love. He deserves it. He deserves it. Now now go get healthy and let's let's go to work. Let's go win a ship. How about it? I'm with you. All right. Back to hoops. Knicks up by seven. 9.30 to go. They're going to get to Olenek. Olenek's going to drive. Now he loses the ball. Stolen by the Knicks. Here comes Deuce. Deuce up head to Brunson. Brunson finishes on the break. The Knicks are not playing around here. They're already up nine with 9.25 to go. As Freeman Liberty will bring it up for Toronto. He'll get it to Olenek on that right elbow. Hartenstein guarding him. Olenek's going to throw it inside to Abaji. Abaji's blocked by DiVincenzo. He'll get it back and now gets it to Trent. Trent's going to drive. His layup is good. Great defense there by DiVincenzo. Forcing the Raptors into a tough spot. Brunson will walk it up. 8.55 to go. He'll get it to Brunson. Now Brunson gets it back from Chenzo. Here comes a pick and roll with Hardenstein. Brunson drops it off to him. Hardenstein finds an open deuce in the corner. He relocates to DiVincenzo. He'll put it on the deck. He drives the lane, drops it off to Hardenstein. He's going to be fouled. Hardenstein's going to go to the line for a pair. I love the Knicks ball movement so far. They're being super aggressive and they're sharing the basketball. It's beautiful to watch on offense right now. CPJ says, yo, my TV is like a few minutes ahead of you. That's crazy. Yeah, because so, we're on stream. We are streaming. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. We're at 843. Uh, now 840. Freeman Liberty is going to bring it up. Brunson guarding him. He'll get it to Olenek on the top. We're not on YouTube TV. We had to, we had to go through the Direct TV login today because our NBA app wasn't working. As that three is going to be off by Toronto, here come the Knicks. They'll bring it up in transition. Brunson's going to stop and pop from 10 on the baseline, and he'll knock it down. We got 8.15, so yeah, we're about five seconds behind you. I apologize. Grady Dick off the catch. His three, good. His three, good. At the next TV timeout, we may try, try to get that fixed, but Anthony says we're about 40 seconds behind. I apologize, guys. Steven is going to find Brunson. Brunson on the right wing, guarded by Abaji. He gets doubled. He swings. Deuce, open corner. This time off. We'll be rebounded by Trent. He's out and running. He'll push the pace. He'll dribble into the left side. Now guarded by Brunson. He'll find Olenek. He'll launch a corner three. Good. Good. Olenek has a sweet little jumper on him, man. Brunson will bring it up. He finds a cutting Hardenstein who throws it down with two. Brunson has been surgical tonight as a passer. Nicks up by seven. As DiVincenzo gets knocked to the ground, Gary Trent will drive from the corner and dunk it. Brunson will walk it up. Nick's down by five. He'll turn to the corner. He has a step. He finds an open deuce. He'll try another from deep, and he'll knock it down. Deuce is four of five from deep. What is going on with Miles McBride? Miles McBride is in fuego. Toronto will try to answer with a three. No dice. Rebound by Brunson. He'll bring it up. Guarded by People's Freedom, or whatever his name is. He'll take him into the post. Beats him off the dribble. Fall away, Mitty. No good. Rebound by Olenek. People's Freedom. Freedom Liberty. Freeman. <laughs> As, oh, an alley-oops thrown. Deuce breaks it up, but they're going to call a foul. And now Abaji is in serious pain on the baseline. He's squirming around. I hope he's all right. Hopefully Mr. Abaji is okay. Hopefully he is. As Wilfredo coming in with a $2 super chat. Shout out to my guy, Wilfredo. What's up, man? 
He says, do you think we go at least 8-3 and three to close the season? So the games you got left, San Antonio, well, you should win tonight. You should win against San Antonio. So that'll be, I think, two easy wins. Then you got a tough game against OKC. That'll be tough. Then you got a tough game versus Miami. Tough game versus Sacramento. You should be able to beat Chicago. Tough game versus Milwaukee. You should be able to beat Chicago. Tough game versus Boston. Easy game versus Brooklyn. And another tough game versus, or a winnable game versus Chicago. I'm looking to go around 8-3. and three. I'm looking to go around 8-3. and three. If you go 7-4, and four, I'm cool with that. That'd give you 250 wins as well. 8-3 um, and three probably gets you the third seed, right? Right now, you are a half game out of the third seed. And Charlotte and Cleveland are tied at 56 in the second. If Cleveland loses tonight and the Knicks win, they will be in the three seed. The Knicks are also double-checking here before I speak out of my ace. Uh, Knicks are two and a half games out of the two seed. Okay. Two and a half games out of the two seed. So there's a lot to play for in these last 11 games. No, no resting. No resting, guys. No trying to steal minutes here and there. You're full go. Let's go get that two seed. That is not unattainable. You're two games out. Two wins. You have 20. You have 43 wins. They have 46. You have 28 loss. They have 26. Um, let's catch them. Let's catch them. How drunk was Freedom Liberty when he did that name change? That was a name change? That was a name change? I what didn't know that. What was his first name? First name's Javon. Javon. Maybe I just call him that. CPJ says, Cat is more skilled than Randall, but not better. I can say that for sure. Cat too soft. He can't play defense. They're just completely different players, right? Randall plays bully ball, attacks the rim, whereas Cat is arguably one of the best shooters at his position of all time. Completely different players. Uh, Randall's resume, though, up to this point is significantly better than Cat. Two-time All-NBA, three-time All-Star. Uh, been the best player on a team that was the four seed. You want to try to... I'm scared if I... Because it's just... I guess you just click the direct TV one and it'll come back wherever yeah. that went. There we go. Still at a TV timeout here as Ochai Abaji was in pain at, after having the dunk broken up. I don't get it. Makes no sense. It's, it sucks. Oh. I just want to see if I close the app and then go back to it. Let's go, Knicks, says Mind Benda. Shout out to everybody in the building, 706 people watching. If you haven't yet, please hit that thumbs up icon. Yes, we have 176 likes and over 700 people watching. I know what? all of you haven't liked the video, so if you've not, please go ahead and please do so. Please like right the now. video. I don't understand why you wouldn't like the video. You're watching, you're liking, at least show some love to the channel. Show some love. All right, here we go. 23-17. Brunson will walk it up. As Abaji did not return. That's scary. Brunson has it. He'll throw it to the left side. Hart gives it to DiVincenzo. Back to Brunson. Brunson going to work that two-man game. Now he'll just ISO on Freedom. He'll step back. Now drives middle. Has some space. Floater up. In and out. Offensive board by Hartstein. And he'll clean it up. And look who's at the scores table, Marshy. Mitchell Robinson. Let's go. Set to check in at the next dead ball. As Bruce Brown drives, he'll relocate it to Trent in the corner. Trent will pick up his dribble, throws it to a cutting Olenek. Good defense by Hartenstein. Force him to throw a backdoor pass to Freedom, and he'll beat Brunson there. JB will walk it up. Nick's up five with five, uh, six, excuse me, with 5.30 to go. Brunson's going to call for an isolation on this right side. Now he'll swing it around. DiVincenzo finds McBride. McBride back to Brunson. Brunson high pick and roll with Hartenstein. He'll swing it. It's going to be DiVincenzo in the corner. Good! Dante DiVincenzo knocks it in. Good extra pass by Deuce. Freedom. 
finds Brown. Brown guarded by Hart. Throw a backdoor pass to Trent Jr. DiVincenzo just jumps over Gary Trent Jr. DiVincenzo came in for the glass. He jumps up and he literally clears the head top of Gary Trent Jr. He literally leapfrogged him. As Isaiah Hartenstein will sub out and Mitchell Robinson will sub in for the first time since the beginning of December. Tight Give me those 23s, 23s, baby. Give me those 23s in the chat. Mitchell Robinson back at the ball game, already creating havoc. Steal by Hart. McBride will bring it up. He'll pull up. Deuce will miss the three. An offensive rebound by Mc Mitchell Robinson comes into the game. First possession on offense. Offensive rebound. Throws it off the defense. He's keeping possessions alive already. It's so nice to see Mitch Rob back in blue. Let's go. McBride, he'll throw it into Brunson. Brunson back to McBride. McBride kicks. DiVincenzo drives. He'll throw it back to Deuce. Open for three. Good! Deuce McBride has five first quarter threes. What has gotten into Deuce? Deuce for three. Gary Trent Jr., he'll drive. Kick to Brown. Brown's going to be guarded by DiVincenzo. Great defense by the Knicks. And Mitchell Robinson already gets another block. It's going to be a fast break by Brunson. He'll get into the lane. Lays it up right hand and gets it to go. The Knicks are up big. It's a party up north of the border, baby. Let's go, Knicks. You are three possessions into the game for Robinson. Block. Block. Offensive rebound. Got in the passing lanes. Outlet to a fast break. He is unbelievable. Yes. Off the bench. Off the bench. The Knicks might win the NBA title. They're deep, man. Give me freaking a healthy OG. Please, God. I'll tell you this right now. The Celtics have no chance. I'll do whatever it takes to get OG out and they'll be healthy. Please, whatever. just tell me. Whatever it takes. Would you cut off your pinky finger? If it guaranteed a chip, yeah. You would? I, 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 would, I would cut my pinky off if it guaranteed a Knicks chip. I would. I would. Well, we are at a TV timeout. I got to tell you guys about our proud sponsor, Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS, and Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. It's the best daily fantasy sports app in the game. You create a lineup of two to six players, and you simply choose more or less on their projected stat line. Pick more, pick less, play Prize Picks. The lineup that I rolled with tonight was just a two player lineup. I went with the less on the points, rebounds, and assists for Dante DiVincenzo. I also went with the less for points, rebounds, and assists for Bruce Brown. Still early, like where I'm at, though. Win big money. Turn your ball knowledge into dollars to make them holla. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS will match their first deposit up to $100. Let's go. You know what? We're already two beer shotguns in. If we get another $50 super chat, I'm doing another. It's got to be before the end of the first quarter. Let's party on, baby. Knicks on defense. Brunson defending. Forced a bad pass. Grady Dick will catch it, and he'll pull up from 15. No good. Achua has checked in, and he'll get the board. So you're going with Mitchell Robinson, Achua, Josh Hart, McBride, and Brunson in the game. Brunson up top. He's doubled off the screen. He'll relocate to Hart. Hart's going to dribble drive. He'll throw a lob to Robinson, and he gets it to go. Robinson drops the pass, but he's able to guide it in. Two points for Robinson in his return. Gary Trent off the screen, gets into the paint, guarded by Deuce, step back, 15-footer, good. Nick's up 14 with 3.30 to go. Brunson's going to bring it up. He's being guarded all the way. He now has a switch of Grady Dick on him. He'll drive to the right after the screen. Relocates to Achua. Achua hand off to Hart. Hart back to Achua. Achua in the lane. He should have went up with it. Now he will. Shot no good. Rebound by Robinson. Then has it stolen from him. Robinson was able to get in position to get the board, but he was a little bit weak with it there. As that's going to be good defense by Achua on the other end. He forces the miss. Brunson comes up with the loose ball. He'll bring it up the left side. Brunson's looking to go to work here. He'll back him down. Has him in the mid-range. Now pushes him back out to the three. Brunson sizing him up. Bounce off to Deuce. Deuce for three. Good! 
Jackson, Deuce McBride, six threes in the first quarter. I don't Are know you what to say. Kidding me? As Terrence Myers coming in with a ten dollars super chat. Grady Dick, he'll rip through and drive on a Chua. Layup no good, but an offensive put back there. Brunt, that's one thing Robinson will do at times. He'll chase blocks, which allows offensive rebounds. But a Chua didn't need the help there, so I would like to see Mitch just box out. Brunson being guarded very physically, and they're going to call a foul. They're going to call a foul. Terrence Myers, yeah, yeah. says 23. Welcome back, big fella. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then Anthony Danaher says, Marsh, if you lose a finger at work, think of think of the comp. Yeah, that's workers comp. That's workers comp. Sorry, Brett. Yeah, we'll talk to we'll talk to Brett about that, see what happens. I'm sure the channel would benefit. No doubt about it. Danaher, we love you. Then Tone as Robinson goes into the lane, gets it to go. Strong finish by Mitch. Timeout Toronto. Or maybe a dead ball. Delay a game. Either way, Mitchell Robinson already making an impact. Tone, 1585, says Deuce is coming for Dante's record. Dante, uh, Dante DiVincenzo set the record for most three-pointers made in a game with 11 Deuce just two days six. ago. Deuce already got six in the first quarter. And then we also just saw Mitchell Robinson poke a ball out of bounds on a drive. <laughs> we are so up. We are so up. Well, you got Piston Boy Bogey in there. Bogdanovich checks in. It's Hart will defend here. That's going to be a Garrett Temple three. Good. So the five on the floor is Deuce, Achua, Robinson, Hart, and Bogey. Hart's going to drive. He'll find Bogey in the court. Pasta, pasta one. Bad pass by Hart. Temple throws it out. Or Toronto's out and running. Blocked by Achua on the other end. Great defense. I don't love the double big lineup of Robinson and Achua. I don't love it either. It doesn't provide you much versatility at all on either end of the floor. I don't love it either. Tips is going to tip. Um, it'll be interesting to see the different lineups he tries with Robinson back. As the Knicks give up an easy two there off the baseline inbound. Still up 12, 80 seconds to go. Josh Hart brings it up. He'll move it around the perimeter. Bogdanovich, after a screen from Achua, will try to get to Hart's sign at the, uh, Robinson at the free throw line. Robinson gets it, and they're going to call block. You don't see that from Robinson. He catches his at the free throw line, faces up, and he says, I'm going to go dunk this. And he gets familiar. downhill, and he gets fouled. Maybe it was a charge, but we'll benefit from the whistle. I wasn't familiar with your game, Mitchell Robinson. He said, Coop, on an Instagram post that – so an Instagram post posted a picture of Robinson, Randall, uh, OG, Dante, and Brunson. It said, I can't wait to get this five back, a Knicks fan page. And Robinson commented and said, I'd rather come off the bench and show him what I could do. So, That's a real teammate right there. I don't know if that means he's going to try to get more offensive game going. I'm not sure. I they, believe we have a challenge. There is going to be a challenge on this, and I do think this is going to be a charge. Yeah, I don't think he was in the restricted area. He was not. That looks like a charge to me. I believe that will be going the other way. Yeah. I have no idea who half the players on the Raptors roster are. No, yeah, they're not a good team. They're not a good team. Jay Liv. What up, Jay? Tomorrow in the building says pressure is like 6'8. Yeah. Deuce McBride says, I'm going to break it tonight. Monkey Juice. What up, man? BSG says, Let's go, Knicks. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, Knicks. As Mr. T says, Who picked Toronto? Someone that does not know ball, that's for sure. Brian Shannon says their only good player is Scotty Barnes. I don't want to... Is he even playing? No. I don't want to, you know, talk about IQ and Barrett, but I'm just going to take a second to. As the call will be overturned, it'll be changed from a, char a block to a charge. So Robinson... We'll pick up a foul there. And now that was pretty obvious to tell in real time, in my opinion. F Zach Zarba. This is my thing, Coop. If Scotty Barnes is good, he was an all-star. Yeah. If Scotty Barnes is good and RJ is good and quickly is good and Jakob Pertle is good, 
and Gary Trent is good, they need to win games. And they don't win games. They're never healthy, number one. Yes. Number two, and this may be a different discussion for a different day. No respect to R.J. Barrett. Not sure he's good. Um, Everyone tells me how good they are. My thing is this. I think R.J. and Quickly can be a part of good teams. I don't think they can be leading minute getters in volume. Agreed. I think, yeah. I I think Quickly is more of a 25 to 30 minute guy. That's what I think he is. As Garrett Temple will launch a three, that's no good. Rebound by Achua. Nick's up 12, less than a minute to go. Achua will bring it up. Now get it to Deuce. Deuce at the logo. Going to get into pick and roll here with Mitch. Deuce getting downhill. In and out dribble. Kicks it to Bogey. Bogey in the corner. Puts it on the deck. He'll pull up. Then has his shot blocked from behind. That's OG. OG. Shout out to my man OG. Says, I agree with Mitch. We have nice PGs, but we don't have a four general. I see you guys open, but they didn't get looks because guys are looking for their own shots. Whatever helps the team. Let's go, Knicks. McBride will throw it in for the baseline. He'll throw it out to Achua. Seven on the shot clock. Achua's going to drive. He'll lose it, and it'll go out of bounds. And they're going to say that's off of Toronto, so it'll stay here. Knicks will have 4.2 seconds to inbound. Achua was walking the other way, so maybe the Knicks caught a break there. I agree with Mitch. We have a nice Yeah, I think there's just – let me touch on this after the quarter. McBride will throw it in. An open bogey for three. Good! It's raining threes in Toronto. Nick's up big. Let's go. We'll pick and roll here for Toronto, and that'll be an easy two. Defensive intensity, I feel like, is slipping for the Knicks because of their offensive powers. They're up 13 with 30 seconds to go in the quarter. McBride will bring it up. The two for one is dead, so just take a good quality shot now. 18 seconds in the quarter, about a nine-second shot clock, game clock difference. Deuce off the screen, gets into the lane, floater up, got a short arm, but Achua is there to clean it up. Another two for the Knicks after the Achua offensive board and put back. Knicks up 15 with eight seconds to go. Now play some defense. Bogey, one-on-one in the corner. Move your feet, keep your hands high. And that'll be a corner three from Temple. Good over Bogey. Don't like the defensive effort from the Knicks in the first quarter. Hard to complain when you score 45 points. But that gives them something to work on for the next three. Yeah. I don't, uh, the defensive intensity was very lacking outside of the first seven minutes. But you're up 45-33. You gave up 33 to a guy with four names. Yeah, not ideal. But we're here. We're here. We're here. I'm here, brother. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? OG, um, I like Robinson coming off the bench. I think the Knicks have something with Brunson and Hartenstein and kind of that two-man game with the four more spread. I uh, wonder how that evolves if Randall does or with if and when he does come back. Um... I agree. I think that Robinson should come off the bench. And I think him going against second team centers, OG, will really, his strengths will really be able to shine when it comes to defensive versatility, shot blocking, rim protection, and obviously the best offensive rebounder in this league. Great the first quarter for me down in the chat. We got 865 people watching. If you haven't yet, please hit that thumbs up icon. Only 248 likes. Um, B plus? A minus? I want to say A, but I can't because you, you gave up 33 points. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to go B plus. Vibes were high. Offense was moving and grooving. Defensive intensity. You got to turn it up a notch. Um, Tibbs, I can tell you this. He ain't happy. They could have scored 80 points in the first quarter. Tibbs would not be happy with that defensive effort. No. He wouldn't be. They were not. I'll go B plus. Um... Davidov, go go out and yell at somebody. Yeah, Davidov, if you're watching, tell them to pick their defense up. Let's go. I got some A's, some eight minuses, some B pluses. Uh, Will says A for the vibes. Will Fredo says anytime we're winning is an A. Hard to hard to agree with that. Uh, Michael says Marshall getting my Yankees Astros tickets tomorrow. If you're coming down, I hope to run into you. It would be amazing. I unfortunately, am probably not going to be able to go to the game uh, games. I wish I could. Is that who they open with? Yeah, and Houston. Ooh. I wish I could go. 
I the World Series champions them. open the season tomorrow. World Series champs? Who do they got? Chicago Cubs. Okay. Uh, I knew that. I knew that. Creed says, got to go A. Jay Liv says, Toronto fired a good coach. That makes all the difference. Tips is done with the Knicks. What Buck Showalter did with the Yankees. Turn around a hopeless situation by building a culture. My man Jay Liv, he's on it. Second quarter is underway. And Robinson with the weak side rejection. He blocked it and caught it like Kenyon Martin. As the Knicks are out in transition, bogey three, good! Let's go, Knicks! Watch your head, Top. Mitchell Robinson comes from the opposite block, meets him at the rim and says, give me that. Girl, give me that. As Toronto launches the three, no good. Rebound by Bob Bogey. Bog Bogey. Bog -bog. Is this a get-right game for Bogey? Uh, uh, shit, fuck yes, please. McBride brings it up. Nick's moving it around. Get it back at the logo. Going to get a screen from Robinson. Now a screen from Bogey. alley -oop to Robinson. He missed it, but he's fouled. I'm going to put on my basketball analyst cap here for a second because <laughs> I just saw something that the Knicks are doing that the Raptors cannot stop. This is called the Spain pick and roll, Marshall. Okay. It's when the screener comes to set the screen, then you bring in a third guy to set the screen for the screener. So, so you Mitch, screen the rollers, man. Yes. Mitch Love came that. and set the screen, and then Bogey came and set the screen for Mitch, freeing him up to get him get the foul. Get the lob. I like that. And you know what? Robinson just made a free throw. I'll tell you what. You may have had a broken ankle or foot. You could still shoot free throws. He better have been in the gym shooting 2,000 a day. Hopefully he goes from 40% to 50. Is that what he's at, He's 40? so bad. That's it might awful. be worse. Robinson, second free throw. No good. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't. And like we've seen him in an open gym, like look like KD at times. <laughs> but that's open gym versus KD. scrubs. Nick's up 16, just under 11 minutes to go in the half. Pick and roll here from Toronto. Bruce Brown off the catch for three. Good. Good. McBride, Bogey, Chenzo, Harton, uh, excuse me, McBride, Bogey, DiVincenzo, Precious, and Mitch are in the game. As Achua throws one 100 miles an hour from a five feet away deuce, and he'll drop it. Show some touch there, brother. Show some touch, brother. As Mitchell Robinson will sit down, five points, two blocks in six minutes. Give me some 23s in the chat. Let's go. And then Wilfredo says, Mitch starting versus off the bench opinion. I think the bench is the right role for him right now. You have some clicking with Hartenstein, and let him work back to speed with the bench. As that'll be a dribble drive for Toronto, then kicks it out. Temple off the catch for three. Good, and they're going to call a foul. A four-point play opportunity for Garrett Temple. They're going to say DiVincenzo hacked him. Garrett Temple's made a name for himself in this league, being able to shoot. Been in the league for a while now. Long time. When you can shoot like that, you will find a role for yourself. Well, Fredo, I think just coming off the bench right now as he works up to speed, the, the, the pick and roll game of Hartenstein and Brunson has been magnificent. I wouldn't mess with the starting lineup any more than you already have had to because of injuries. As it looks like Thibodeau is going to challenge this foul call. We're going to challenge on the three point foul. But is that worth the challenge? No. <laughs> Probably not. It's not. Um, I would continue to rock with Hartenstein. Let me know. Who do y'all think should start? Tart 55 for iHeart, 23 for me. I'll make the, you want to make, make that the live poll? Yeah, let's do that. As Charles Armstrong coming with a $2 super chat. Shout out to Charles. Says, good to see Mitch back. It is. And, and I respect him for putting in the work to come back and play. This is a guy that got hurt at the beginning of December. Had to have surgery. And it seemed like everybody just eliminated the idea that he was going to come back. And I stood right here and I filmed a video and I said, he's going to come back. It was not a season-ending injury. And here he is. And here he is. Two steals, an alter, two blocks, an altered shot, fouled twice, offensive rebounds, making it, make it an impact. Um, when you have an active big man like that, it just makes all the difference in the world. I'm excited, man. I'm really, 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 really excited. Charles, it is good to see him back and good to see you in the building. Good, good to, to see you, in Charles. The building. As it looks like Hartenstein is dominating this poll. And I don't think that's because all of us will say that Hartenstein's a better player. It's I, nothing against Mitch. Yeah, I think he just fits. He provides more space on offense. 
another ball handler to an extent, another initiator of offense, a guy that can create scoring opportunities for others. I think he switches better in pick and rolls, whereas Mitch is a better rebounder and a better shot blocker. It, it feels like Mitch, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but his energy, his motor fits the second unit. Yeah. I think it does. That's not to say Hartenstein doesn't have that either, but I think Mitch can really just, he can come in with fresh legs when maybe some guys are tired and change the dynamic of the game. When Hartenstein and Ann and Obi start together, they're like 15-2. and two. Let's not mess with that. Jalen says, I'm excited, but I'm afraid to go all in. F it, I'm all in. Marsh is all in, I've baby. jumped out the window. I've already per- – I, I, my finals pick is Knicks Nuggets. I'm Your standing by that. Your parachute's broke? Say it again? No parachute? No. Oh, hell no. It's, it's all or nothing. I'm jumping out the window. Challenge was successful, by the way. As Tom Thibodeau wins another challenge – that means the three-pointer will count, but it'll be Nick's ball going that way. No, no four-point play opportunity. Also, if we get a fifty-dollar super chat, I'm shotgunning this uh, great pappy dad, Death Row, Death Row Records. We're shotgunning that for a fifty-dollar super chat. Here we go. Nick's up ten. Ten minutes to go. Devin Chenzo to bogey, bogey for three. He was two for two, but he missed that one. Rebound by Toronto. Here comes Bruce Brown bringing it up. Hartenstein guarding him. Now, now hand it off. Toronto, pick and roll. Pull up Jay from the free throw line. That's no good. Rebound by DiVincenzo, who's now holding his rib. And he looks like he got a little friendly fire there. He'll play catch with Hartenstein and knock down the three off the catch. They got shooters everywhere. Knicks are 10 to 13 from three. Let's go. McBride guarding the ball. Dribble drive to the left. Kick out to the corner. That'll be a three for Toronto. No good. Rebound. Loose. It's on the ground. And they're fighting for it. It's going to be Deuce McBride and I believe Garrett Temple jumping it up. McBride points to Achua, but I do think it was McBride that held him up. Let's hope it's Achua for the next sake. Exactly, Evan. I'm all in. My middle school football coach had a saying, one speed, full speed. Full speed. speed. And I'm all the way in, and I'm only going full speed with my love for the Knicks. Looks like it is Achua. So it's going to be Temple and Achua jumping it up as McBride will go to the bench for his first time tonight. Brunson will come in. What a game for McBride so far. Six threes, dude. That's freaking rad. As Achua wins the tip, he taps it right to Hartenstein. So it's Steven Chenzo, Hartenstein, Achua, Bogey, and Brunson. Chenzo, he'll get it to Brunson. On the left wing, here comes a screen from Hartenstein. He won't use it. Brunson's just going to dribble drive himself. He'll back him down from the foul line. He's in his office. He'll step through, create some space. He's fouled and one! Jalen Brunson! He gets the whistle, and he finishes a three-point play opportunity coming up for the captain as the Knicks are up 15. JB! Are we calling him the captain? He's the captain. I'm calling him the captain. I am the captain now. He got us out of point guard hell. He's my captain. I want to see them put a C on his jersey. Derek, number two. Derek, Derek Jeter. Jeter, number two. <laughs> Brunson makes the free throw. Nicks up 16 with nine minutes to go. Aaron Judge, the captain of the Yankees now. Yeah, he is. I don't know if I love that. <laughs> As Temple or Brown puts it on the deck, and they're going to call a... Travel, I believe. Either way, it's a turnover. It's a Knicks ball going the other way. As Emmanuel quickly and R.J. Barrett watch on from street clothes in the bench. Both, I believe, are out due to personal reasons. That, uh, that jacket's tough as hell on Barrett. That was. Let's continue to keep their families and them in our thoughts and prayers. Brunson up top, one-on-one, -on -one, puts it on the deck, gets in the lane. He'll pull up from the block and gets it to go. The sky-high mid-range J. Brunson. As that'll be a dribble drive, step back, 17-footer for Toronto. Off the back iron, no good. Ball's tapped around. It'll go out of bounds off the Raptors. New York ball going that way. Why don't I, why don't I love Aaron Judge as the captain? He hasn't won anything. He hasn't won anything. Did they make, did they make Jeter the captain before they won a ring? I don't know. That's a prestigious honor. Probably one of the highest honors in Yankee baseball. captain. Yeah. And I guess they say, well, Marshall Brunson hasn't won anything. Well, we were also the worst team in the NBA. 
as Brunson for three. Good! The Knicks are on fire! They're up 60 to 39. Temple drives, kicks it to Brown. Brown, good defense by the Knicks. He's doubled, and now they back off and get back in rotation. But they don't rotate enough as that's an open three. No good, though. Hartenstein hauls in the board. DiVincenzo brings it up, gets it to Brunson. Brunson's double. Now it's one on one, him versus Garrett Temple. Clear out. Clear out. They do. He'll pull up for 30. No good. You got to stick that. As Toronto trying to get going. They'll drive Hartenstein on the contest. Good contest, better offense. I'm not saying Judge isn't a good captain. I just would like to see him have one of these and maybe play a little better in October. How play a little feel, better in October. How do you feel about your Yanks this year? If they're healthy, which in the MLB, like every team says that right, um, I think they can compete. I do too. Because I love, I love Judge in the regular season. So has to prove to me in the playoffs that he's a primetime player. Um, Judge hasn't come across as an elevator in the playoffs. And that's what great players do in every sport. They, they elevate. elevate in the playoffs. He has not elevated. Um, I think Juan Soto may be the best player in baseball. I think he's in that conversation outside of Shohei Otani. Um, and you got him now. You need Garrett Cole to be healthy, though. If and not, then it, it could be a big year for New York sports. Your Rangers leading the NHL in points right now, only one point behind my Dallas Stars for the best record in the NHL. Really? The uh, Rangers. So we could be on a collision course of Stars Rangers in the fine, in the cup. They could they're going to be the number 1 seeds in their respective conferences. That's electric. I saw the Breadman had tr uh, hat trick the Yes, other he day. did. Breadman called on him fire. a triple double. <laughs> a hat trick. Also there's I I obviously follow a lot of Rangers fans on Twitter. The rookie they got a couple years ago, so, somebody was spinning the block. You guys told me he was a bust. I guess he's been playing he, better. He's been back, yeah. He's kind of gotten it together this year. Good Is he year a defender or a goal scorer? He's a forward. Okay. No, former number one overall pick. For the people that don't know what forward means, what does that mean? That means he is a winger or a center Which, that scores goals. Okay. Not a defender. Yeah, I knew that for people that don't know. Yeah. I just love how the Rangers have been establishing the four-check this year. They've been a great four-checking team this year. Uh, Igor and Met. Uh, who's, who's our backup goalie? Uh, Jonathan Quick, American yeah. hero. Love that. Love that. <laughs> CPJ says New York about to be lit. Yes, sir. 30 years since the Rangers won. And, uh, and Rempe as well. The dude who fights everyone. Love that. Got to have an enforcer. Got to have a fighter. What was the, the guy named? Sean Avery? Former? Sean Avery. He used to be the enforcer. I yeah. loved that guy when Fred used to watch me. I know Puck too, J-Liv. Let's go. I told you about the four check. I, well, I obviously don't love ho uh, watch hockey, but I asked one time, what's the term I can say to come off as I know hockey? Just tell him, you know, that's about the four check. Establish the four check. As Bill Peter friend. Says Munson was captain before 70s Yankees won. George named him captain so he'd lead them. Mattingly was captain and didn't win. Thank you for the history lesson, my brother. As I am only 29 years old, Derek Jeter is my Yankees captain. And I just feel as if it may have been passed to him a little bit too soon. But if you had to do that to re-sign him, do it. When uh, Thurman Munson was the captain, great Yankees catcher when uh, Reggie Jackson was around. Mr. They were winning titles. East October. All right, Nick's up big. 7.15 to go in the half. Brunson's going to swing it to the right side of DiVincenzo. Chenzo back to him. He'll launch. Brunson a little bit short. Achua with the offensive board. He'll go right back up with it and miss it, though. But it'll be a rebound by Olenek. As Freedom will bring it up. He'll swing it around the perimeter to Trent. Trent drops it off to a cutting Olenek. Olenek into the paint. Good footwork there to get an easy bucket. As it's a 17-point game with 6.50 to go. Brunson will handle. Gets a screen from Ihart. He'll drive to the left. Swings to Bogey. Bogey. Jab step. Rip through. Takes Grady into the post. Fall away. Eight-footer. Good. That's why you bring Boyan Bogdanovich here. They need more of that. They need more of that. He's not just a catch-and-shoot guy. He can get to his spots. Hasn't been able to as of late. Toronto trying to move it down. That drive cut off by Chenzo. Now Gary Trent drives. He'll pass it to Grady. Grady has it poked away. He'll recollect. Then a give and go with Bruce Brown. Layup in. Nice play there. 
If the Knicks can get Bogdanovich going on a regular basis, watch out. They need him off. Just shoot 40%. That's it. Like, just do what you do. Brunson off the pass. Gets into the lane. Kicks it out. Achua three. No good. Achua from the right corner. He fired that with no hesitation. Freedom will bring it up. He'll drive on Brunson. Kicks it out to Grady. He'll launch. Blocked by Achua. Achua getting out to contest a three-pointer. Sends it into Celebrity Row. Let's go, Knicks. Is Drake there tonight? I believe he's on tour with J. Cole, so probably not. He's probably writing that diss track to Kendrick. He needs to come up with something because Kendrick flat out disrespected that man. It seems like everybody hates Drake now. Yeah. The only, one, the only ones that fuck with him are J. Cole. What side is French Montana choosing? French is definitely on Drake's side. Montana. <laughs> Gary Trent will throw it into Olenek. Olenek, nice backdoor pass to Grady, who swings it out. That's going to be a Bruce Brown corner three. No good. Rebound by Josh Hart. Brucey e. B going nowhere. Bruce stinks. Glad we didn't trade for him. Brunson in and out dribble. Freezes Bruce. Drops it off to Hartenstein. And Hartenstein got caught in between trying to be a little too cute. He could have easily thrown that to DiVincenzo for the corner three. Knicks up 17, 5.30 to go. Freedom comes off the screen, kicks to Trent. Trent's going to drive on Deuce, spins back. Deuce falls, now holding his ankle, gets back up. He's okay. Shot no good. Rebound by Hartenstein. And he'll put it on the deck. Now he throws it up ahead to Josh Hart. And now the Knicks will settle into their offense. Hart, pick and roll with Hartenstein. Throws it up, and Hartenstein throws it down. What a play by the two Harts. I guess you could call that a love connection. <laughs> Olenek, backdoor pass to Trent, and they're going to call a foul, I believe, prior to the shot. Marsh, the Cavs are going back and forth right now, currently trailing the Hornets by three midway through the third. If the Hornets lose, if the Hornets win, a.k.a. the Cavs lose, the Knicks win, Knicks are in the third seed. Knicks are in the third seed. Let's go, Charlotte! Let's go, Charlotte! As Gary Trent will throw it into Olenek. Olenek back door to Trent. Trent moving it around. Freedom left wing. He'll drive. Gets to the lane. Right hand scoop shot up and in off the glass. Javon Freeman Liberty. The pride of DePaul. As the lineup on the floor is Achua, Brunson, Hart, DiVincenzo, and McBride. We are playing small CPJ. Hart signing in a little bit of a rest. Brunson on the perimeter. Guarded by Grady. He'll go one on one. Now they'll double. He'll kick to an open Chenzo. He'll launch for three. No good. Ball poked around. Rebounded by Brunson. Brunson's going to push it. He'll relocate to McBride from the corner. That's off. A two with the board. And he gets it to go on the putback. <laughs> Knicks up 19 with under 4.30 to go. Freedom off the Olenek screen. Turns the corner. Pulls up from the foul line. Push shot up and in. Strong take by him. Brunson will walk it up. Under four minutes to go, we are in the half. Brunson guarded by Grady. They got a help defender and freedom right there. Brunson's going to drive. Now post him up. Picks his dribble up. Gets it to a chew at the dotted line. Nice little defensive play by Olenek to pull the chair. Now McBride. Oh, bad pass by Achua. It's a fast break. Now kicked away by Toronto. That'll be a turnover. Nick's ball. Getting thirsty. Getting thirsty. It would be a really bad idea if we had to do a shotgun here soon. Really bad. Brunson with 3.30 to go. Going to get a screen from Achua. He'll swing it cross court to DiVincenzo. Vincenzo's going to put it on the deck right back to Brunson. Brunson's going to face up, use the screen, turns the corner, pulls up at the foul line, drops it off to Achua. Just a maestro he's been on that pick and roll. I don't know if he'll get the assist because I think Achua smoked the layup, but he was there to clean up his own mess. Knicks back up by 19. Gary Trent will swing it. Grady's going to drive. Steven Chenzo bumped him, but a great creative finish there. 17-point game, three minutes to go. Brunson, one-on-one -on -one versus Grady Dick here. He'll bring him into the post, starting to back him down. If a double comes, he'll give it up. He'll just drive right by him, lay it up, and one, and one, and one, Jalen Brunson. What the hit? This dude's good. This team's good. Best point guard in the East. I remember when um, they told me that 
Ty Tyrese Halliburton in November was the best point guard in the league East. Um, you don't get that type of luxury when you've never done anything in the league, which Tyrese Halliburton has never done anything in the league. Has he even made the playoffs before? No. No. That's weird. No. no. Cool threes in the All-Star game, though. Yeah, that's fun. Those were sweet. Those were sweet. Knicks up 20. Brunson already has 17 and 6. Oh, Lennett catches it. Throws it backside to Temple. Temple kicks it out. Corner three. Grady, good. Grady's got a nice J, man. Oh! oh! <laughs> Three-point goal. C P J. Bang! <laughs> My man CPJ, the GOAT. As Brunson gets into the lane, off the glass, no good. Hart skies in for the board. And they're going to say that's out of bounds on him. CPJ says, I'm on one tonight. I'm on one too, man. I think that there's a problem with me. I think I just love New York Knicks basketball a little bit too much. But the fact that we're getting to see a healthy Robinson tonight, that shit fires me up. Is that a problem that you love it too much? Sometimes. I think it can be. I think my overall mood gets swung too much with the success and the defeat of this team. Grady Dick, though, nice pull-up jumper right there. He's a special scorer, man. Great. Grady Dick's a really good scorer, yeah, no doubt about it. Wonder who gets his jersey tonight. Brunson's going to back him down. Now kicks it out. Deuce, open three. No good. Josh Hart battling for the board, and he'll come up with it. He throws it to Brunson. Brunson back to Deuce. Deuce to Devo. Dante, three. No good. Rebound by Achua. He's there to clean it up. Achua's been on garbage time all night long. Let's go, Nick. Shot to CPJ. Get those chugs in the chat. As Toronto misses, Nixon in transition. Brunson into the paint, working the footwork. Good defense by Temple to stay on the ground. McBride has it. Now he'll relocate to Brunson. Brunson, 10 on the shot clock, throws it into Deuce. Deuce out to Hart. Hart for three. No good. Ball's batted around. Brunson comes up with it. And now DiVincenzo will recover. 10 on the shot clock, under 60 to go. DiVincenzo on the left wing, guarded by Temple. Kicks it to Brunson. Brunson, pump Ooh. fake, drive. There's a lot of contact. He's fouled. They're going to say it was on the ground, which means the Knicks will throw it from the side with 14 to go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ronald says, where's the Henny? The Henny's out there. Uh, we don't drink Henny often. I'm down to drink some Henny, though. I'm not, I'm not opposed. Brunson, 10 on the shot clock, guarded by Temple, gets the screen from Achua, steps into the lane, drops it off to Achua. Achua's fouled! Can't get it to go, but he's got two free ones coming. <laughs> seeps. Oh, Seeps. That's just a habit right there. Coop, we are getting close, closer to uh, closing the gap here of uh, you versus Seeps in, the, in this, in this uh, Super Chat battle. We are. We'll update it in just a second, but first... I got to tell you guys about our proud sponsor, Price Picks. As the chew is at the line, he makes the first shot to Price Picks, number one daily fantasy sports app in the game. It's pricepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. Price Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. The lineup that I rolled with tonight, Dante DiVincenzo, less on his points, rebounds, and assists. I also went with less on Bruce Brown's points, rebounds, and assists. You can roll with my picks, fade my picks, but I kindly ask you to play Price Picks at this link, pricepicks.com. Slash C L N S. As Gary Trent will drive, he's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Kendrick says, Marsh, you've been working out. You look slim. Thanks, boss. Thanks, boss. I uh I was at the doctor today. Got weighed in. We're down thir 35 LBs. Boys. Let's ride. Down 35 LBs. Trying to get right. Um let's go. Let's go. We're trying to get right. We're celebrating with beer shotguns tonight. Of course. We're celebrating with Happy beer shotguns. Happy Dads don't even count their water, basically. Yeah, I mean, that's what all we drink on this, this show is water, according to some of you guys. That's weird. Kendrick Guild, I appreciate that, big dog. CPJ says, I'm serious, y'all. I think Booker is with us next season, and Ty Wu is our coach next season. Screenshot this comment. I'll I wouldn't be surprised if Booker is, is it at least starts to starts to chirp a little bit. Devin Booker, not a winning basketball player. <laughs> What about if he's next to Brunson? 
as Brunson throws it in the corner. Chenzo three, in and out. Ball's tapped around. Hart comes up with it. Out to Brunson. Brunson back to Chenzo for three. Good! Dante DiVincenzo! The big ragu! As the Knicks are up to 78 points in the half, most of any half this season. Thing is, they also have given up 59. Knicks have five seconds to get a shot off. That's ample time. Deuce will bring it up the left side. He'll get downhill. He'll pull up for the baseline. Shot is good! Deuce McBride beats the buzzer, and we got 80 first half points for the Knicks. Let's go, Knicks! Bronx boy says down 35 points. 35 means you ain't doing enough boots. Bronx boy, you are fucking hilarious. Ed, thank you, brother. I'm tr I'm gonna keep it going. I'm trying to get back to two hundo. Trying to get back to two hundo. Johnson uses twenty half points for Deuce. Yes, sir. OG, that's mad love, man. Thank you, brother. Kendrick Guild, thank you, my man. Um, I could definitely tell I lost weight when um. I did a video this summer, where I talked about what Jalen Brunson will need to do if he wants to be an MVP. And I went back and watched that video today, and I was like, I was just disappointed looking at myself. Uh, I, I could watch that video. I was like, damn, I, I, I was fat. <laughs> I was fat. But you know what? I'll, we're good now. We're back. We're back. We're getting better. 80 points in the first half, Tony. 80 points in the first half. Anthony says, bloody YouTube ads. <laughs> the word bloody is awesome. Bloody YouTube ads, man. David says, get me motivated, Marshall. I'm about to get slimmed down. Hey, all I've done is I've just been watching what I eat, man. Watch what I eat. I'll go on the occasional run. I like to get my steps in as well. You're running around the neighborhood. I'll go running around the neighborhood. I like to go with the hoodie hoodie on, too. I, it makes me feel like I'm rocky. Because you're sweating a little bit? I'm sweating a little no bit. Doubt. I don't want to be seen. I'm not doing this for them. No, absolutely I'm not. I'm doing this for me. Um, I love that. And, I, and I'll just feel like I'm Rocky running in the hoodie, getting loose. Monkey Juice says, what is your advice for someone who wants to be a future Nick in the NBA? My advice would be for you to do nothing but left-hand ball handling and left-hand layups every single day. And if you are left, you do right hand. If you can make your offhand as good as your dominant hand, and then maybe if you're blessed to be six foot three, you'll have a chance. But that's what I would do. If I have ever a son or a daughter and they want to play basketball, you got to be ambidextrous. Absolutely. Got to be ambidextrous. That's how you get to the league, man. No soda. Oh, yeah. I'm all water, and I like to drink these uh, Zeros, Body Armor Zero and Gatorade Zero, even though they got that. Occasional fish. Celsius, but those aren't bad for you. Yeah, this is 100 cows, man, 100 cows. Let me actually get some more juice here. No sugar? I've also cut out almost all sugar, which is hard for me because um, I am a big candy guy. You like candy a lot? Oh, my God. Yeah, Petey, my boy Petey, he used to call me a gas station All-American. I love that. Because I would just buy up all the candy at the candy store. Uh, Eric says, Tony, six foot five. Castro, thank you, brother. Will McConaughey says, McBride beating Ragu's record tonight. If he would have made some in the second quarter, I would have said yes. But, I mean, he's still there. He's only five away from tying it. Will McConaughey says, F cardio, just lift. I've recently started my push-up series. The only reason I don't love to lift, which I wish I could so I get swole on these hoes, is I got a bad shoulder. I got a bad shoulder. Flag Football Hall of Fame, Marshall Green. <laughs> Catch him in the Olympics in 28. Right. Check Tuesday. Check Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm dead. <laughs> says it? Dave. Says King, would you consider... Uh, if you know me, you know I am maybe the least political I have known Marshall, government history, whatever you want to call it. I don't care for that stuff. I have known Marshall Green for three years. When is election night? November? Exactly. <laughs> uh, it is no. the first Tuesday in November. Tuesday, Tuesday. Um, we will not be live on New York Knicks now, nor New York Giants now. Maybe on Chad Sports Maine, though. Um... I'm dead. I'm dead. 
Y'all are funny. Y'all crack me up. CPJ says, Marsh, you're going to join the NFL Flag Football League. Are they starting one of those? I know they're doing the AFFL. Um, I was a part of that in the summer of 2022, I believe. Our team made it to the final, it was either the final 16 or final 18, and then I pulled a little Reggie Bush, and I, and I pitched it to the other team. That was demoralizing. <sighs> they are doing the AFFL this year. I was asked to try out for that, but the, uh, what, is, what is that for those that don't know? American Flag Football League. It's okay. professional flag football. Let's uh, go. This is the first real season. They've done tournaments before. They've done two tournaments in the past that were worth a million dollars for the winner, two hundred thousand dollars for the winner the year after. And they used to do the um, amateur team would play the pro team. Pro team had like Danny Werfel, Jason Avant, no way. Nate Robinson played in it, Chad Johnson played in it. Um, but I think my flag days are behind me until I get shoulder surgery. The Bronx boy. It says, quick ce celebratory super chat from Marsh's 35. That's crazy. Dude, you are the funniest person I ever fucking met in my life. I hope you know that. <laughs> I hope you know that. That's man. going in the group chat. Oh, my goodness. Shout out to RTY Gamer for the two. The fucking Bronx boy is ridiculous. Holy shit. Giants for life, you're good, brother. You're good, man. As long as you're you good can, everywhere you go. As long as y'all tune in when you can, that's awesome. CPJ says, I saw him advertising like a few months ago. Yeah, I know they're doing the AFFL, uh, American Flag Football League. Um, that's this summer. This is year one of that. They got like five teams. Uh... But no, I uh, I wanted to play in it. I was asked to try out, but um, I got work. I'm covering the NFL and NBA. I'm living the dream. Oh, I'd be dumb to pass this up. Tony, the Cavs game's in the third quarter, not the fourth. So still a quarter to go, but they are down four. Cavs down four. Minute less than the third. Let's go. Let's go. Knicks win and Cavs lose. The Knicks are in the third seed. Yes, are the Grizz not Grizzlies? Fucking idiot. Um, no, Bucks play tomorrow. Bucks play tomorrow. Bucks New Orleans tomorrow. New Orleans is one of the hottest teams in the NBA. They are even without Brandon Ingram. They've lost three games in the month of March. Nine and three in the month of March. Month of March. The West is crazy, man. No one loses. Yeah. What is it, like three through nine or like two games apart? Basically, yeah. MSH says, Marsh, are you a good athlete? I was decent back in my prime. Marsh played decent. college football. I was decent back in my prime. Anthony Dancers, RTY Gamers, I've seen your clips on Facebook. Nice work, bro. What, what is he playing? What is he playing? I want to watch. I want to watch. That's funny. Coop, we're making ground on seeps. We are indeed. We're Let making me... ground on seeps. I still can't believe I saw my guy Bruce earlier. Then he tuned into the chat and Bruce. Chatted. That was dope. Shout out to Bruce. Bruce Jackson, if you're watching, shout out to you, man. I'm glad you said something. Glad you said something. Always good to see the homies. Yeah, especially especially my guy right there. All right. Matthew Smithson says, I respect Marsh more now. Why is that? Why is that? So the deal of the day here on Chat Sports, and it's a lofty deal, and it's, and it's asking a lot, and I get that. Seeps was supposed to produce tonight's live show. He woke up this morning. He texted me. He's like, I don't want to do it. Can you do it? I was like, yeah, I'll do it. I'm at my doctor's appointment an hour away, and he says, Marsh, I'm not doing the live stream. I'm like, why? He's like, I, I don't I, feel like I it. I don't feel like it. I'm like, whatever, dude. So Coop's doing it. I'm like, all right, bet. Let's get it. We don't lose when Coop does it. So my deal to the real ones is this. Lofty goal, I know. If we beat nine hundred eighty-five dollars in super chats, which we beat, which we did on Tuesday, Monday, where the Knicks dominated um, when Seeps last produced, Seeps has to start the show on Thursday with a beer boot. I can't wait to see that. That's what we're doing. If we can beat, if we get to nine hundred eighty-five dollars and fifteen cents tonight, Thursday against the Oklahoma City Thunder, Seeps has to start the show with a beer boot. That's where we're at. That's where I don't know. And one. he didn't consent to it, but we're forced. Yeah, he doesn't know this no. is happening, but it will happen. It, we will make it happen. We will make it happen. 
I actually forgot to text him back. He texted me like two hours ago. What seeps up to? Being ridiculous. Of course. Mel mm -hmm. Beaster says baseball is back, planning to go to opening day weekend for Yankees Blue Jays. That's in. That's like the third series of the year, right? They start against the Astros, Astros. and they go on the be a road again. Go on the road again. Yeah, to Terrence Newman, what's up, man? Main event says, will I be watching? I will. I'll be watching. I'll be watching opening day. Everyone watches opening day. As Dan, Dan. coming in with a $10 super chat. You going to take a stab at it? Paladino? Paladino. 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 Dan Paladino. He says, for the cause. Shout out. Love that. Shout out to Dan on our way to catch Patrick Seatman to make him do a beer boot to start Thursday's show. Thing is, he doesn't know. So if we get there, it's, he's going to be surprised. I'm like, bro, you owe a beer boot. He's like, for what? I'm like, for being a rat. For being Literally. A rat. Thank you, Dan. Thank, Thank you, you Dan. Dan. As Broken Chip. What up, Marshy? That's my guy right there. Let's go, <laughs> Knicks. Shout out to him. Broken Chip's been showing love to me for a long, long time on these channels. That's mad love, man. Bronx Boy says your Italian accent is money. I thought it sucked, but I'm glad that a real Italian like you appreciates it. Dan Paladino. <laughs> Bubba Smith in the chat. Slim Race and Drew says we take in the two second seed. We're two and a half games behind the second seed. Cavs lose tonight. Knicks win tonight. You are a if you're a half game back and they lose and you win. Up. You're half game up. Love that. Tony says, Marsh, I'm going to Atlantic City this weekend for my B day. Give me a number for roulette. I don't like 10. this. I don't like that. Your number is 10. My number is 10. Um, we can rock with 10. Or you go like a Knicks number. You go 11 for Brunson. 23. You go 23 for Mitch. Two for Deuce. Deuce has been hot. Deuce has been hot. Zero. I feel like um, it's usually the higher numbers that win. For in sure. That, in that BS. I usually just go red or black. Tony, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. As Victor Briggs coming with a super chat. A first time super chatter for Victor. My man. Shout out, Victor. MSH says, Marsh, I was able to return my Deontay Banks jersey since you told me he was changing his number. I'm glad you did, man. I'm glad you, I'm glad you were able to get a new jersey. Um, that was nice of them to do that, though. That was nice of them. Shout out to them. Deontay Banks wear number three next year. I'm excited for that. Terrence Newman, my man. Morgan says, Shake Milton is the Earl the Pearl. I don't know about that. <laughs> That's a lot of praise for Shake Milton. That's all of Famer you're talking about there. Yeah. Musgrove says, end of the third quarter. Hornets 100, Cleveland 96. John Pettit says, not worried about what C. Just play the games and get healthy. You can only... Uh, agreed. Agreed. It would just be nice to be that two seed or the three seed. Johnson, you says it's my B day today. Oh, yeah? Is it? Is Why do it? I not believe you, Johnson? How, uh, how, how old are you turning, Johnson, you? Why do I not believe you, Johnson? Rockwall, Texas. Does he understand where that is? Yeah, he went and played golf there today. Does he understand what Rockwall is? 30 minutes north. That's not that good of an area, is it? Uh, it's, yeah, Rockwall's good. Okay. Yeah. Damn, it's, uh, you were thinking uh, Red Oak. Okay, maybe that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I was going to say one of those is not good. Yeah. No, Rockwall's <laughs> good. That's funny. Johnson East says 23, just turned 22 yesterday as well. He's just 22, Johnson, you. He's just 22. Tony, Tony says, I actually turned 23 on Friday. You guys, I want to give you guys uh, birthday love, but I never know if y'all are serious. I never know if y'all are serious. Johnson, you just likes to troll. Johnson, you is definitely not serious. He's Josh in us. Alex says, Warriors 71, Magic 66. That's another game that's important. We want the Warriors to win that one. We want the Warriors to win that one. 
Anthony says three plays the Pacers. Do you want that? I don't like that matchup. I would rather play, I think, the Orlando Magic in round one than the Pacers, but I would rather play the Bucks in round two than the Celtics in round two. And if you can't beat the Pacers, then you don't deserve to do anything. Juan, what up, man? Benjamin Button in the chat. Anthony Dana, that's my guy. I think so too, John Pettit. I think I think teams, if you had to ask every team in the Eastern Conference what team they wanted to play the least outside of the Celtics, I think a lot of people would say the Knicks. I think the Celtics would say the Knicks as well. No Mike Green on this one tonight? We have Kenny? Kenny Albert, yeah, he must have an ESPN game tonight. Is is ESPN? Yeah, there, are, there there is an ESPN game tonight. Tony, salute, brother. All right, second half is underway. Knicks up by twenty one. As Grady Dick reverse layup blocked by Deuce Brunson picks up the loose ball. He'll kick it up ahead to Deuce. Deuce to Chenzo. Chenzo gets the screen from Hartenstein. Trying to get downhill, then he'll pick up his dribble. Now they play catch. Chenzo has it on the baseline. Picked his dribble up again. Don't love that. And now he'll relocate to Hartenstein at the foul line. Hartenstein creating some space with a fake backdoor pass, and he left a push shot short. And that's going to go out of bounds. And they're going to say that was off of the Knicks. It'll be Toronto ball going the other way. What's up, Max Sanchez? <laughs> Eric Trump, deal. Deal, Eric Trump. I'm with you on that. Olenek up top. He'll hand it off to Freedom. He'll turn the corner. Drives at Brunson. Kicks it out to Temple. Temple swings to Olenek. Olenek's going to drive. Gets to his left hand on Hartenstein. His scoops shot is good. That was kind of tough. LB so wavy says your stream is very behind in the game. I know. We're having to use our third, uh, our third streaming service today. I apologize, everybody. I apologize. We're having some technical difficulties here at Chat Sports HQ. Brunson has it on the right wing. He'll get it to a cutting Hartenstein. Hartenstein drives and he's fouled. He'll go to the call. He'll go to the line for two. Deuce says number one show. That's mad love, bro. Eric Drump, you're a savage. You're a savage. Eric Drump super chats right before tip always get me going. And when he does, we win. Especially when he says F Roly. F the Crafters. I love that one. I love the nicknames that he comes up with for these other jokes of teams. Hartenstein knocks in the first. What's the real score? 81-61. That's where we have it. 81-61. That's Hartenstein knocks in the second. Now it's 82-61. Freedom will bring it up the right side. Brunson guarding him. Says Grady Dick will call for the ball. He won't get it. Now throwing in the... Corner to Temple. Temple's going to drive. Kicks it out. Olenek left wing three. That's no good, but he gets his own rebound. He'll now put it on the deck. Drives to the baseline. He'll flop. Doesn't get the call. Now they'll call a foul on DiVincenzo on the putback attempt by Gary Trent. Niall Dimitri. What's up, bro? Hide the keys to the Bronx. Olenek at the line. First one is good. Will says, can we get a bang? I don't know, Will. Can we get a bang? Can we? Can we? Can we get a bang? <laughs> if you know, you know. Speaking of, I, I need to bring something up at the timeout, by the way. Oh, Lord. Mix up 19. I know the real ones in this chat will know what I'm talking about. Brunson drops it off to Hart. Hart at the top of the key. He'll swing it around to Hartenstein. Hartenstein now hands it off to Brunson. Brunson off the handoff. Step back. 17-footer. Bottoms. Bottoms. Easy money there for Jalen Brunson. Knicks back up 21 with 10 minutes to go in the third. Gary Trent has it up top. Deuce guarding him. He'll push him to the left. He'll drop it off to Olenek. Olenek drives, great pump fake and footwork. He got Hartenstein in the air for the easy layup. For the easy layup. Back to 19. Brunson gets to DiVincenzo. Chenzo is going to be attacked by Trent, and he'll give it back up. Brunson up top, one-on-one -on -one with Grady. Gets a screen. Now he's guarded by Olenek. 
They're pretty much double teaming him. Brunson to DiVincenzo. Chenzo for three off the catch. No good. Rebound by Olenek. What's up, Seal? William Cross says, just here for y'all to shoot the boot again. We could do some boots. Grady Dick puts it on the deck. Pull up. Walk one dribble. Gets it to go. He's solid, man. He's a good scorer. If we get a $100 super chat, I'll do a boot. F it. F it. Josh Hart, bounce pass to Hartenstein, who throws it down for two. <laughs> Hartenstein has been great again tonight. And then they're going to call a travel, I think. It's going to be a turnover. Nick's ball heading that way. Brunson will walk it up. They're going to Josh Hart. Hart throws it back to Brunson. Brunson's going to drive on Temple. It'll pull it back out, and he'll size him up. Ten on the shot clock. He's getting downhill. He blows by him. Creates space off the glass. Too strong for Brunson. Shot no good. Rebound by Toronto. Freedom's going to bring it up. He'll go all the way. He attacks Hart. Layup no good. Grady, though, taps it out. And now Olenek relocates to Grady. Grady drives from the corner. He'll hang and lay it up for two. Strong take by him. I've been really impressed by him offensively. Kind of a bucket. He's been really good. You didn't want to call him by his last name? Trying to mix it up. It's a little awkward. Yeah, just trying to mix it up. <laughs> Brunson, he'll have it. Ten on the shot clock. Swings it to Hart. Hart to McBride. McBride from the corner. Bang! Deuce McBride with his seventh three tonight. He's on fire. Owenick throws it in the paint. Pass stolen by Hartstein. Up to Brunson. Brunson to Hart. Hart out to Brunson for the corner three. Good! I don't love the way the transition unfolded, but I'll always take a three from the captain. Nick's up big. The Knicks. The Knicks. The Knicks are on fire. <laughs> Dana Her. We'll hook you up with some raffle tickets, brother. We got you, Dana Her. You've right. already won the bang competition, unless there is just an extreme. Dana Her won it? He's up big. Let's go. He's up big in the month of March. He's up big in the month of March. John Pettit says, I'm loving the ball movement, how they're playing. I know you're playing a lesser opponent today, but. As I love to say, I am process over results, and I just feel like they're, the process and the way they're going about the action is great, but they are playing arguably one of the worst teams in the NBA right now. But sometimes in these games, you, 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 it's easy to take one off. So here's what I was going to bring up. Oh God! Have you seen the video of Jennifer Lopez talking about her bodega order? No. Oh, it's going all over TikTok, and she is getting roasted. For being a poser. She goes to the bodega and gets she, what? A, a, she said a when she grew up in the Bronx, claims she grew up in the Bronx. Grew up in the Bronx. She got a ham and cheese on a roll. And then she said, with an orange drink. If you know, you know. I don't know, Jennifer. Is it a sun kissed? Is it a sunny D? I don't know. So she's getting roasted right so, now. So she told on herself. She told on herself. And basically said, yeah, I'm not actually from New York. If your order's not a, uh, a bacon, egg, and cheese, salt, pepper, a hot You're take weird. here. Hot take here. I, um, I like hot sauce on my bacon. Hot sauce would be great. I don't know if that's frowned upon amongst New Yorkers. Give me a bacon, egg, and cheese with a hash brown and some hot sauce, and that's all I need. That's all I need. As this one's rolling in from Anthony Dana Her. Bang! Bang! Anthony Dana Her from deep. Bang! Three-point goal, Anthony Dana Her. Seal Pasito, I may have said wrong. That's not what I mean. When I order a bagel, I'm always getting bacon, egg, and cheese on it. And then I'm putting hot sauce on there. I'm not just grabbing a bagel and putting hot sauce I on there. I do chipotle mayo. Chipotle mayo. Yes. Yeah, no. It's got to be the bacon, egg, and cheese with a little hot sauce and a little salt, pepper, ketchup. 
Hold the ketchup. I just like saying salt, pepper, ketchup. I don't get ketchup. Seal Pasito with the $23 super chat. Whoop! Do I see Mitch Robb in the box score? Whoop! You do, brother, and he looked good. Anthony Daner says that's the most English order I've ever heard. <laughs> Dana, you're telling me I sound like an American? <laughs> Let me get a bacon, egg, and cheese on a plain bagel with a little bit of hot sauce and salt and pepper. That's what I want. That's what I want. LB So Wavy says, give me the Kaiser roll. Let me get a, let me get a bacon, egg, and cheese on a hot roll, salt, pepper, ketchup. I saw it in a video once, and now I can't uh, stop rolls, saying it. Rolls are good. I, I can like rock bagel, with the though. roll, but I'm going bagel. I like a bagel. Shout out to Anthony Dana. Shout out to Seal Pasito. He's looked good so far, Seal. He has. He has. Next TV timeout, we'll do the boot. Eric Trump, breakfast tacos. Those, those, new, those, those northerners don't know about that breakfast taco life, Eric Trump. They don't know about that breakfast taco life. Call me crazy, and this may be they have no idea. me being raised in Texas. I'm a, I'm a breakfast taco guy over a bagel guy. Breakfast tacos, a little bacon, egg, cheese, potato. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That's, that's my go-to. And you guys don't know about kolaches either. Oh, they don't know nothing about they kolaches. They don't know about kolaches. They call those pigs in blankets. As Brunson into the lane. Floater, good! <laughs> breakfast burritos are good, yeah. Imagine just a smaller breakfast burrito would be a breakfast taco. Nick's up big here. Gary Trent, he'll drive on Hartenstein. Blocked! Loose ball recovered by Hart. Hart throws it up ahead. And they're going to call a foul in the backcourt. Turkey and cheese hero all day. Valentina says you're a Tex-Mex. I grew up in Houston, dog. I grew up in Houston, Texas. That's the number one Tex-Mex place in America. It is true. Brian Fitzgerald says, Taylor ham and cheese on poppy seed bun and tinfoil. That's Tri-State Classic. All right. Brunson will walk it up. 6.30 to go. He gets a screen from Hart. He's now one-on-one -on -one with Grady. He's got the help defender from Temple. Brunson drives. He's doubled. Swings it to Hart. Hart drives off the catch. Then he almost throws it away. Steven Chenzo recovers. Brunson on the deck. Pull up three. No good. Rebound by Toronto. What's fighting words, Eric Trump? As Freedom comes off the screen, he'll throw it back out to Olenek. Olenek pops it in the corner of the Temple. Temple three, no good, but an offensive rebound for Toronto. And then Grady with a baseline, 18-footer, good. It seems like every time he shoots it, it goes in. Timeout, Tom Thibodeau. He's having a good game, man. Bacon and eggs with mayonnaise is crazy. No. Yeah, if you get mayo on a bacon, egg, and cheese, that's... Chipotle mayo is different because it has some spice to it. If you get regular mayo, that's a little. Mm. Eric Trump, I will give you that. If there's, if there's a place better in Houston with breakfast tacos, it would be San Antonio. That's the only place. Maybe you, you go a little bit more south than Houston, you get in the valley. But, yeah, no, you're right. Tex San Antonio is just up there with Houston, if not above it. So, you're right. You say there's no good Tex-Mex in Dallas. Oh, there, so good, good. There is good. There is good. But not Houston. It's just different. Whereas, like, it's hard to explain. There's just more. There's just more in Houston. Every strip center, every this, every that has a nice Tex-Mex spot. Um, Dallas is kind of bougie. And I like the bougie. I like it. Dallas is bougie. I'm dead. Well, we do go to a TV timeout. I got to tell you guys about our proud sponsor, Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use the promo code CLNS. And prize picks will match your first deposit up to $100. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players, and you simply pick more or pick less when it comes to their projected stat line. This is the lineup that I rolled with tonight. I chose less when it comes to Dante DiVincenzo's points, rebounds, and assists. Let's see where I'm at on that. Dante has nine points, four rebounds, one assist. So I like where I'm at on that. I also went with less on Bruce Brown points, rebounds, and assists. And he has three points and one assist. We may be making some cheddar tonight, boys. Let's go. You roll with my picks if you want to be a winner. If not, 
uh, you can choose your picks. Um, but please, please, please play Prize Picks. PrizePicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. Number one daily fantasy sports app in the building. In the building. LB so wavy says, when are you going to do a pick six on prize picks? I get scared for the pick sixes. Yeah, it's They're so hard to win. Maybe tomorrow's game. Middle of the third quarter, Nick's up large here. Next TV timeout, I got the boot chug for my guy, Anthony Danaher. Shout out to him. Shout out to Dana Her. I will say this. We are less than, we're about $350 away from passing up seats and making him do a beer boot to start Thursday's show. Mix up 21 here, 540 to go in the quarter. DiVincenzo up top gets it to Brunson. Brunson turns the corner and he pops it to DiVincenzo in the corner. No good. Oh, uh, Robinson in the game keeps it alive, saved by Deuce. Nick's with, with a fresh 14. Brunson, step back. Jay, oh my goodness. How do He's you do? sensational. Will Jalen Brunson play in the, the fourth quarter? Probably. Yes, because it's Tom Thibodeau. They were up 30 the other day, and he came in with five minutes. He oh, came in with five minutes? It was ridiculous. Brunson defending freedom. He'll take a step back three. Good. Mitchell Robinson is checked back into the ball game. It's Robinson, McBride, and Brunson on the floor, and they are joined by Josh Hart and Dante DiVincenzo. I like this lineup. McBride at the logo, gets it to Brunson. He's at half court, guarded by Temple. Gets a screen from Hart. He's doubled off it, drops it off to Hart. Hart swings to Chenzo. Chenzo, corner, three, bang! If you're going to double Brunson up top, that means you're leaving somebody open, and right now the Knicks have too many knockdown shooters to do that. As Freedom gets into the paint, his drive cut off by Robinson. He plays catch with Bruce Brown. Now he'll launch a three. No good. Rebound by Deuce. He's looking up ahead. He'll throw it to Chenzo in the corner. He'll launch. Good! Dante DiVincenzo! The big ragu. Knicks are 16 to 31 from deep. Bruce Brown drive. He'll have to swing it. Olenek. To Grady Dick. No good. Rebound by Brunson. He throws it up ahead to Hart. Go, Josh. Go. He drops it off to Deuce in the corner. And his pass is stolen as it was a bad pass by Hart, which set up him. Garrett Temple in transition. Smokes the layup. But he gets his own rebound and puts it back up and in for two. My dad is sleeping, Marsh. Can you be a little more quiet? <laughs> you must luck. not know Marshall Grady. Good luck. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. Knicks are up big. Brunson one-on-one -on -one with Grady. Spread it out. Go to work. Step back. Three. He missed it. Oh, Robinson battling for the board. And he'll be rewarded with a foul. So you have to foul Robinson to keep him off the glass. Good luck, Kelly Olenek. Good luck. Good luck. Love what I'm seeing from Mitch Rob in his, uh, not debut, but his return. Oh, shit. Danny McGrath is in the building. The murder. Do, do, do. Everybody drop a DM in the chat. What up, D murder? D murder in the building. You've missed a fun one, Danny. You've missed a fun one, brother. Nick still have it on offense. Josh Hart throws it in the corner. DiVincenzo three. Robinson with the offensive board. <laughs> They're trying to box him out with a center I've never heard of. That's why him off the bench is so crazy because Absolutely. no backup center can keep him off the glass. If he's playing against second unit centers who are basically all trash in the NBA, he's going to eat. Two straight possessions that are kept alive by him. Who even is this stiff? <laughs> I don't know. Who is? I really don't know who that is. I legit do not know. Brunson up top. Ten on the shot clock. He'll go one on one. He's looking to go. He'll swing it to Hart. Hart dribble drive, and then he lost the ball. A turnover by the Knicks. Toronto's out and running. Brunson slides in to take a charge, and he'll get it. I will say, though, I don't want to be the guy that's mad that the Knicks took a charge. It's 102-78. to I don't need Brunson putting his body on the line. Agreed. 
If I told you his name was Mohamedou Gay, would you believe me? No. Big man out of pit? Never heard of him. My man Bruce Jackson in the building. What's up, Bruce? What up, Brucey? He says, I don't know who's got the worst fit, Scotty Barnes, Quick, or RJ. RJ looks tough tonight. RJ, one of them had a nice, like, RJ uh, had a Louis V jacket on. A nice jacket. Scotty Barnes' fit was trash. It was probably super expensive, though. My man Bruce, that's, that's what's up. I'm glad you said something, bro. Brunson, he'll drive, has the defender on his hip, drops it off to Mitch. Mitch catches it, rises up with it, he's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. This will sound suspect, so I will say pause before. Pause. But when Mitchell Robinson is in the game, you feel him. You do. You, you feel him. You feel his presence in the paint. He alters what offenses want to do. They know he's there. Thus, they do not go to the rim as aggressively. At all. At all. Everyone's been saying what Creed has been saying, and I want to say it so bad, I just don't know if it's allowed yet. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to give it a little bit of grace period, but I'm going to start saying that. But what are we saying that for? Instead of the other one. NH. I don't follow. You do. Instead of pause, it's NH. And then instead of that, it's <laughs> ND. Robinson misses the first, but he gets the second one to go. Got it. I'm, I, I follow now completely. <laughs> Nick's on defense here. It's Chenzo, Robinson, Hart, Bogey, and Deuce. Toronto has it up top. It'll be a drive. Cut off by Mitch. Force him into a tough shot, but an offensive rebound by Temple. And then he'll be fouled by Hart. Brian Fitzgerald says Danny McGrath back in the house. Danny McGrath and Brian Fitzgerald are like Batman and Robin, man. They're a duo. They're a duo that I'm all about. Danny McGrath has a tendency to get a little wild. He does. And he he was, last time we did the stream together, we thought we were prepping for greatness. Things got in the way. But since then, when he's come back, it's been three streams in a row where Danny McGrath has been balling. And we have a little bit of a challenge on our hands tonight. Patrick Seaman was supposed to produce the live show today. He said he didn't want to. He said, Marshall, I don't want to hang out with Knicks fans. So we got Coop in the building. And I told him, if we pass your Super Chat total for Monday, you got to start Thursday's game with a beer bomb, a beer shotgun. A well, we didn't boot. tell him. That's the great part about it. I actually didn't tell him that. I, I, he, Seeps, if you're watching, if we catch up to you tonight in Super Chats, you got to start Thursday's game with a beer boot. So how much are we're we're three hundred away? Three hundred away. We're three hundred away from Seep starting Thursday's show with a beer boot. He said, "Marshall, he he did he, he just was talking smack." That's all I'll say. You were at the doctor trying to like get your checkup, making sure you're all good. And I, you're, I you're, had to deal and with and then this. you have to deal with that BS. It was it was brutal. Nile, he literally said, "You stink." So that, that's that on that. Mix up 23. Dante has it at the top of the key. Guarded by Gary Trent. He'll put it on the deck. Gets a screen from Robinson. He'll use it. Drives from the baseline. Gets it to Mitch. And Mitch dropped it. But he got it back and throws it down. One thing I've noticed is Mitch has kind of dropped a couple of passes. First time back in live action. Got to get back to having those soft hands. I think we should beat Patrick. That way he could start Thursday's show with the beer. Bowl. That'd be That'd awesome. be electric. DiVincenzo with the steal. He's out in transition and he's fouled. That was about to be showtime for the big ragu. God, Bruce Brown blows. Brian says Mitch and OG in the lineup will be deadly. Yes, it will. That's well, going to be a great defensive lineup. Will Tim's try to convince himself to play Mitch and Hartenstein together? Yes. He probably will. If they play the Bucks, I think they would. I think they actually would. I actually like that. I Robinson has done a pretty good job on Giannis before, and then you have Hartenstein behind him. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Just living in the Matrix. Is Mitch playing good? He's playing really good. He's playing really good. He's doing what you thought he would do. Protect the rim, be active on defense, and keep offensive possessions alive with offensive rebounds. Nick's up 26. 
It'll be Bruce Brown in the corner, guarded by DiVincenzo with 110 left to go. Brown drives baseline, blocked! DiVincenzo sends that one into the stands. Did the Cavs lose? Hornets up 114-111 with one minute to go. Oh, boy. Come on, Charlotte. If the Cavs lose and the Knicks win, the Knicks are in the third seed. Gary Trent guarded by DiVincenzo. He steals the pass, and he saves it. He gets it to Mitch. Knicks have numbers. Josh Hart's going to bring it up. Gets a screen. Pull up three. Good. Let's go, Knicks. Knicks up 29. They're dominating. As Mitchell Robinson defending on the perimeter, he pokes it away. You're feeling his defense. Now he's guarding. Good defense there. Forces a terrible miss. Hart with the board. The Knicks can push for a two-on-one. Hart will slow it down. Throws it inside to Deuce. Now you should just slow down for a good shot. Deuce is going to post up Gary Trent Jr. Kicks it out to Hart, and then Hart will slowly reset the offense. Eight on the shot clock. Hart's going to drive. He'll have a lane. Gets up in the air. Hangs it adjusts and kisses it off the glass. Knicks up 30. Trent. He'll control. Five seconds left in the quarter. A dribble drive. Travel. Knicks ball going that way. Knicks ball going that way. Knicks have six seconds to get a shot off. That's plenty of time. That's plenty of time. Hart will th throw it in from above the free throw line so you can get a good shot here. Hart gets it to Deuce. Deuce now going to have to go the length of the court. Four seconds. Three seconds. Two seconds. Deuce for three. Oh, he got a good All shot. Right, he just didn't he make it. it. He just didn't make it. Type those fours. It's fourth quarter time. Why is Deuce limping? Yeah, I don't love that. Fourth quarter time. This should be a Shake Milton fourth quarter. I don't want to see Brunson in the game again. Should. I don't even want to see. You play Mc tomorrow, right? Uh, Thursday. So you're right back Which at. Which is uh, tomorrow. No, no, no. Friday. Friday? Yeah, no tomorrow. No tomorrow. I've been mixed up. No tomorrow, but you do play Friday. Get the fours in the chat. As it's 115-111, Charlotte is up on Cleveland. Cleveland takes a timeout with 47 seconds to go. Come on. Come on, Charlotte. Come on, Charlotte. Anthony Danaher, Castro. Danaher, I got your boot right now. And if we beat Patrick Seatman's number from Tuesday or Monday or Tuesday, Monday, Monday, we're 300, we're 299 away. If we beat Seats' number from Monday, I'm doing another boot. I'm doing another boot if we beat Seeps' number. We're 299 away. Johnson, you says the Hornets are going to win. Don't jinx it. It's 115-111 with 47 seconds to go. Let's ride. You want to grab me one? Just do that. Niall says do a Hennessy shot. I'm, all, I'm four shotguns in, dude. I'm about to do a boot. I said I'll do another boot if we, if we beat... If we beat 985, wait, where that's 400 away. I'm bad at math. Wait, I don't know where, where we're at, to be honest. It might be 400 away. I don't remember. I don't remember. Coop has it. Terrence Newman says, Henny. Boot it. We got a boot right now. If we beat Tuesday's Super Chat, Monday's Super Chat, my days of the week are as the Hornets are up 118-111 after the Brandon Miller three. 15 seconds to go. And it's over. The Hornets beat the Cavs. If the Knicks win tonight, they're in the third seed. Yes, absolutely. Seeps told me, Marsh, there's no way, there's no way that the Knicks get the three seed this year. Where Marsh was right again. 
one day Lil Bro will start listening. One day. One day. As the fourth quarter is underway, Josh Hart with an offensive board out to Deuce. Deuce to bogey from the corner. Good! Bogdanovich knocks it in. Coop, I think we gave them bad info. What number was Seeps at? I think I said it was 300 away. I think it's 400 away. Um, let me double check. I don't remember. Seeps is at 985. We're at 586. 400 is the number. 400 away. I, I gave bad math. We're 400 away. Still a long way to go. We can get there. I got a beer boot. Let's go. Bogey, pull up two. Good. Bogdanovich is cooking. Let's go. Woo! <clears throat> ah, brutal. Gary Trent, three. No good, he's fouled. That was brutal. That was brutal. <sighs> there it goes. Holy shit. You all right, fam? That one hurt, brother. I'm good, brother. I'm good, brother. I'm good. I'm here, brother. I'm here, brother. Seal Pasito! My man, Seal Pasito, with a $27 super chat. Hey, bit by bit. Bit by bit. Bit by bit. There would be nothing more that I want to see on Thursday when we start the stream against the Oklahoma City Thunder with Patrick Seatman starting with the beer boot. We beat 985. We're doing it. We're up to 613. We're within striking distance, man. We're within striking distance. Ayo, F seeps. F seeps, man. I'm glad he wasn't here tonight. He didn't deserve to see this win. Nick's up 30. Shake Milton in the game. It's Milton, Deuce, Hart, Bogey, and Precious. Bogey at the elbow. Drops it off to Hart, who lays it up and in. Nick's up big. Let's take the starters out. Why are they in? Anthony Danaher, I love your work, man. And I love the fact that you support me every freaking game. Um, that shit means the world to me. It really does. Thank you, Dan Anthony. Thank you, for real. As that's an easy bucket for Toronto. And Tom Thibodeau's taking a time. <laughs> Hart should not be in this game. I guarantee you Brunson's in after this timeout. Jericho should be in the ballgame. <laughs> oh, man. I'm threw up there. You all right there, man? Getting better. Getting better. Um, If the Knicks win tonight, they are the third seed. And I think, dare I say, the Knicks are going to win. I'm hoping you're right. <laughs> Anthony Danaher says, what happens if Seeps flakes again? I'll be here again. I promise Seeps will be here Thursday. Friday. Friday. My days of the week are fucked. It is Wednesday. It is Wednesday. We are live Friday. If we pass our super chat total of Monday, which was 985, we're at 613. Seeps is doing a beer boot to start Friday's show. If we, when we break the record tonight, we will call Seeps. Uh, yeah, because he doesn't know this is happening. We will call him and tell we'll him. We'll surprise him. We'll surprise him. Well, we do go to a TV timeout to start the fourth as Nick Davidov's in the chat. Give me some eye emojis in the chat for Nick Davidov. He might have left the game early. Yeah, Davidov, are you still there? Are you still there? Prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. And PrizePix will match your first deposit up to $100. It's the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players, and you simply pick more or you pick less. The lineup that I rolled with tonight is right here. I'm checking in on my live lines. Let's see where we are. I went with less on Dante DiVincenzo's points, rebounds, and assists. He has 16 points, five rebounds, two assists. That's 23. So we're good there. Hopefully the starters don't play anymore. And then I went with less 
It's an 18 and a half for Bruce Brown. He has three points and one assist. So let's hope Dante DiVincenzo doesn't play the fourth quarter. That way I can win some money tonight. Turn your basketball IQ into some winning lineups with prize picks. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS promo code CLNS. As Daniela Martinez. Who's your top five in the playoffs? Top five is in players on the Knicks or like top five teams overall. Danny McGrath says, okay, I'm back. Did the Cavs lose? They did. They Daniela, let me know exactly what you mean by that because I want to give you my best answer. Overall. Five best teams overall in the playoffs? I'm going to say the Nuggets are still number one. I will give the credit to the Celtics because of what they've done. And I think the Knicks are three. I really do. And call me a homer. Call me biased. I don't really care. It's bogey with a step back, too. So I'm going to go Nuggets. I'm going to go Celtics. I'm going to go Knicks. I still believe in the Clippers. And am I missing another one in the West? Okay, see, Minnesota, Dallas Mavericks, Milwaukee Bucks. I think I'd go Bucks five. And then you got a whole bunch of teams from the West, right? You got the Suns, you got the Thunder, you got the Mavs, you got who say the Lake? Like I don't know. You could say the Lakers. Yeah. That's my top three, though. Nuggets, Celtics, Knicks. I truly, truly believe that. That's just how I feel. That's how I feel. Danny McGrath, we're going to need your help tonight, brother. Need your help tonight, brother. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Ed P. in the building. What's up, Ed? Thanks for the love, bro. Nick's up big. It's McBride. It's Shake. It's Bogey. It's Hart and Precious. Can we get Hart out of the game? One time. Just give him a rest. Bogey at the foul line. He'll go to work on Grady. Kisses it off the glass. He left it short. Rebound by Olenek. Olenek pushing the break himself, and then he throws it to the wide open courtside member. That's a turnover, brother. <laughs> He's not on the team, brother. I'm dead. Dave says, 94-95 John Starks made three plus threes in 18 games, set New York Knicks franchise record. Don Steve Jr. had five plus threes in 19 games. Look at you, Dave. Dave is our statistic statistician of the channel. I thank love you, that. Thank you to Dave. Johnny Starks, Knicks legend. McBride off the screen, kicks it out to Hart. Hart, jab step, made a man fall. He'll launch. And he smoked it. Rebound by a chew, and then he fumbled it out of bounds because him and Deuce run into each other. The Cavs lost. Yeah, <laughs> Eric Trump. For real. Like, why don't they take Josh Hart out? One time. Give him a break. He's already played 33 minutes. As Olenek hands it off to Trent. Good defense by Milton. He'll kick it back to Olenek. His three, no good. Rebound by Deuce. Deuce throws it up ahead to Achua. And he'll throw it down. Did the Magic lose? Let me check. Magic lost. Hornets won, a.k.a. Cavs lost. This is a big, big win for the Knicks. Bogey will bring it up. He'll find an open deuce. Deuce settles in for three. Bang! Deuce McBride! Let it fly, young fella! Deuce is up to 26 points. 8-3 from downtown. Grady into the paint. Foul line J. No good. Rebound by Achua. Knicks up 20-34. 34, I think. 34. Bogey from the corner. Good! Boy on Bogdanovich! About damn time, Bogey! Dear God, please. He might be here. Please. Bogey might be a, might have arrived. Is tonight the night that Bogey breaks out of the slump? We need it. As Brian, Brian. Fitzgerald, a, a strong member of our Knicks now Ring of Honor. Of Brian, we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for the super chat, my man. He says, salute to the chat. Irish mob got your back. Big up McGrath and Danaher, number 23, Return of Rikers Island. Mitch Rob, baby. Shout out to him. Shout out to Brian Fitzgerald. 
Give me some BFs in the chat. Man, the Knicks got Boyan Bogdanovich and Mitchell Robinson back in the same night. I can't believe this is my life. If OG and Obi can get healthy. <laughs> Please. If you could just get Bogdanovich to make open threes. And, like, that's all he has to do because he's getting open threes. Exactly. If he makes those. They're tough. They're going to be tough, man. I don't know if anyone can beat the Knicks if Bogdanovich is. I'm serious. If Bogdanovich is going to shoot. Well, I know you feel this way. If the Knicks played the Celtics and Bogdanovich is shooting like this. And healthy OG. And healthy OG. They're winning. They're winning, they're winning the series. And we're not even talking about Randall. I don't know what to do with him. Shut I, him down, man. If he's not ready with five games to go, I think you shut him down. Shut him down. Let's go. This one coming in from Gregory Williams. Shout out to Gregory Williams. The Knicks are torching the Raptors just like they're supposed to. Yes, they are, brother. Took care of business. Basically, from the word go tonight. Yeah. Ref blew the whistle, and the Knicks were ready to take advantage. Yep. They were. They were. Chat to Artie Rock, showing my guy Brian some love. Love that Dave in the building. Shout out to all you guys. Appreciate you still tuning in. As we got about 9.25 to go, the Knicks are officially the third seed in the Eastern Conference. And with a win, Coop, I don't know exactly, but I believe that that would go up to 13 games. Correct. And then they would be two games ahead of the Magic and a half game ahead of the Mavs. That is right. Uh, not Mavs, Cavs. Yep. Five on the floor for the Knicks. Thank God they took out Josh Hart. It's Shake Milton. It's Daquan Jeffries. And it's Achua. Jeffries with the steal. Up to Achua. Achua on the break. Lays it up and in. <laughs> Knicks up. 39. Get my guy Jericho some run here. I would take can we take out Deuce? Do we need Deuce in the game? Let him have one game off, Tibbs. Will says, uh, uh a Chrome, what are you doing? Says Miles McBride is a future star. He's been playing like a star for a month. And I am scared of how good he is. I really am. I think he's one of the best defenders in this league, and he his offense is incredible so far. I don't get it. McBride on the right wing gets it to Achua. Achua at the foul line, rips through, attacks the basket. He's fouled. They're going to say that occurred on the ground. He made the layup. That should be in one. Refs have the under. As Daniela Martinez. Martinez. Thank you for the kind contribution to the channel. Says it sucks. Zach Levine is still injured. But where do you think he would go in the next season? It will be nice if there was a pick for the Knicks or stay his ass in the Bulls. I'm going to watch the Lakers. I'm going to watch the Lakers. He's repped by Clutch Sports. Um, the Lakers are Clutch Sports of the NBA. I would keep my eyes on him. As McBride drives, tried to throw it down. He threw it down over the rim. Shake Milton launches a three. Good! Shake Milton! The pride of the SMU Mustangs. Is he really? Yep. Sammy, I do not have an answer on Randall for you, brother. I do not. Nor do you want to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> As the Raptors move it around the perimeter. Going to set a screen. Good defense by Jericho. It's Jericho, Jeffries, McBride, Milton, and Chew in the game. That's out of bounds. Ref called it. Nick's ball that way. My math tells me that's a 42-point lead. And Deuce McBride, your starter, is still in the game. Who else is going to handle the rock? Shake, I guess. Yeah, let's shake in and put Charlie Brown Jr. in the game. Let's it, ride. It looks like Charlie Brown Jr. is at the table. Thank God. Shake Milton from the baseline. Reverse lay! What a take by Shake Milton! Let's go, Knicks. Knicks on a 15-0 run. Jeffries moving his feet on defense. Good contest. 
Great re uh, recovery there by Sims. Knicks are still playing hard. Straight on three for Toronto is good. Shout out to AJ McMecca. AJ McMecca. Thank you for supporting the channel, man. Thanks for always being here in the chat. We appreciate that. Randall says, I think KD is coming. I don't know about that, brother. As that shot's no good, rebound by the Knicks. Shake Milton who recovers. He'll bring it up. He'll find Achua. Achua has it in the corner. He'll drive, throws it out to Deuce. Deuce from the corner. Bang! Deuce McBride for three! Knicks might score 200 points in this game. Deuce McBride. Having a career night. Goop. He's made nine threes. Nine. He's the record before Monday was ten. He's three away. I think you leave him in and let him try to get it. I think you do. You do. Say, Dante, sorry, brother. Tony says, if you told me last year Deuce would hit nine threes in a game, I'd say you're crazy. So would I. If you so told me that in December, I'd say you're crazy. The way he is playing basketball, I think at some point we have to say he is one of the best players on this team. I don't know how you, you, you just don't admit it anymore. Crazy. Scrappy! Throw the dang towel. Rocky four. Oh, my God. As McBride will sub out. If you're deuce, I'm kind of pissed. Thibodeau didn't want to let him. He said, Dante just got the record. As Kevin Bellotti. Bellotti. That's my guy right there. Kevin Bellotti coming in with a $10 super chat. What's up, Bellotti? He says, best Knicks team of my lifetime. I don't mean to ask a mean question. Just curious. Uh, how old are you, brother? How old are you? I'm 29 years old. And I believe this is the best Knicks team of my lifetime as well. You don't count the 99 team? No, I was five years yeah. old. Yeah. Uh, obviously, that, that was an eight seed, but they got to the finals. Lockout year got kind of crazy. But um, Tim Bellotti says two. He's two years old. Of course he is. 23, he says. Bellotti, 23. Yeah, it's the best team of my lifetime, and it's the best team of yours. We are officially closing the gap. If we cross over 985 in Super Chats, the number Patrick Seatman was able to produce on Monday, Seeps on Friday has to start the show with a beer, beer boot. Seeps is starting the show with a beer boot if we can get to $986 in Super Chats. We're 313 away. We're 313 away. We got four minutes to, do, to go. Can we get there? Achua from the baseline, pull up. His shot was blocked. Adam Goldstein says, hey, Marsh. Monty Williams said he wants no part of this team and doesn't like how Dante got his threes. I saw that. So What did Monty Williams say? So on Monday, Dante DiVincenzo set the record for most three-pointers made by a New York Knick right. in a game at 11. Knicks were up 20, and DiVincenzo was still in the game in the fourth. That's just what Tom Thibodeau does. And Monty Williams was asked after the game, so I don't want to be a part of that. They didn't do it the right way. My thing is this, Monty. If you don't want to be a part of that, you don't want to be a part of the story in history. Don't let them score. Tell your team to play better. You trotted out a team that helped you not win games, but helped you increase your ping pong ball odds. You can't be mad what happens to you, brother. You know what you shouldn't want to be a part of? The Detroit Pistons. You are the laughing stock of the league. You are the most overpaid babysitter in the world, and all you do is cry. Before the contract extensions this year, he's the highest paid coach in the league. Monty Williams is a joke. He's a joke. You don't want to be a part of it? Defend better. You don't want to be a part of the story? Get better players to play for your team. Or play the better players. Don't sit Cade Cunningham. Don't sit Quentin Grimes. Hey, it's professional sports. This isn't beer league softball. There's not a run rule. There's not a limit on home runs. It's the big leagues where the big dogs play. And you get paid big dog bucks. Stop crying and tell your team to play better. You sorry ass coach. 
That's how I feel about what Monty Williams had to say. Scrub. Scrub of the year. Monty effing Williams. I say that all that to say the Knicks are up 43 with four minutes to go. <laughs> Garrett Temple, corner three. No good. Ball's loose. Rebound by Toronto. That'll be a mid-range J. Good. What a soft thing to say. Loser mentality. That's a joke. Loser mentality. Would never want him to coach my team. Oh, my God. He's a babysitter. Can't even do it right. Shake Milton up top. Less than three minutes to go. He'll drive on Temple. Gets to the lane. Left hand layup. No good. Rebound, though, by Sims. Sims throws it out to Charlie Brown. I don't I'm gonna be honest. I think it's Diakite. Pull up three. Jeffries. No good. Achua taps it up. Just not in. As Scrappy. Scrappy coming with a $2 super chat. Says, who the F names their child? <laughs> Drayton Jordan. No dono baiting, bro. That's their name of the game on this Oh, my channel. God. So I just looked up Monty Williams' real name. Is it not Monty? Are you ready for this? Drayton Jordan? Let's see what you're about, bro. Let's see what you're about. Tavares Montgomery Williams. Your name is Montgomery. I don't even know what to say to that. Have fun at the Little Caesars Arena, brother. Dude's a scrub. Dude's a scrub. Enjoy losing 60 a year, kid. I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want to be oh, a part yeah. of that. Yeah, oh, I'm oh. sure you don't. You're oh. losing 65 games. Play better de defense. Play better defense. <laughs> Tell your team to play. Tavares Montgomery. Montgomery. Name's not even Monty. Montgomery, says Tony. Get out of here. I'm dead. That's funny. Mar says, you, you, you guys do know he played for the Knicks. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. Once a Nick, always a Nick. But there's an exception when he talks shit on the Knicks. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. That's two times he has disrespected the Knicks in a matter of two months. What was the other time? When they won against the Pistons where there sh probably should have been a foul call on the Knicks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the New York media now? I remember that. Fuck off, Monty. Knicks up 37. Two minutes to go. Shake Milton will control. He'll pump and drive and lay it up and in. I'm sorry. He should be getting minutes with 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 some some important minutes. I think Shake Milton's a player. I like Shake Milton, man. He can handle the ball. He kind of gives something that the Knicks don't really have in their rotation right now. Agreed. Agreed. Nope says, bro, the Pistons are poverty. Ever since I was born in 2010. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, 2010? <laughs> oh, my God, that's funny. All right, here we go. Daquan Jeffries, pass it to Achua. Achua gets downhill, rises and stuffs! Precious Achua! Watch out, young fella! Oh, my goodness! Precious Achua took flight in Canada and he stuffs it. Watch your head top. The big sneeze. Ooh. What a dunk that is. Precious Achua. Big wow. sneeze. Mr. Billy Valdez with a $5 super chat. Appreciate you supporting the channel, brother. Achua was 17 and 12 tonight. Good game for Achua. The Knicks have 143. This has to be the highest scoring game of the season. Has Frank Serrano says, I just wanted to say it sucks that we gave up Grimes. It does. It does. It does suck, brother. I'm with you on that. Jeffries from the corner back to Achua. Achua's going to drive again. This time he'll lose it. He gets it back. Now it's poked away and it's a turnover. Here comes Toronto. Freedom. And it's a missed dunk by Toronto. Tim's yeah. going to take a timeout after those turnovers. Shake Milton pushing. He'll throw it up and Jericho dropped it. Oh, Jericho almost with the alley-oop. Jericho got braided up. No more fro. No more fro. Frank Serrano, I'm with you. You know I loved Quentin Grimes. I believe in the player. Uh, I want to see him on a on a, on a winning team because I do think he could be a starting two guard on a winning team. 
Coop, we are officially three hundred dollars away from catching. Six. Yes, we are indeed. We're three hundred away. I told you guys, if we catch Patrick Seatman tonight, I'm doing a beer boot again, and then Patrick Seatman has to do a beer boot on Friday when we start the show. Starts the show. As Gregory Williams coming in with a five dollar super chat. Shout out to my guy Greg Williams. He says that Chua try to make the NBA highlight reels for Wednesday. That's going to be on all of them. That might be number one on Sports Center. That was one of the best dunks I've seen this season by a New York Nick. One of the best I've seen by a New York Nick this season. Greg Williams, Achua, Achua did a big Achua thing. He sneezed on him. As the New York Knicks win, 145 to 101. The New York Knicks are 16 games over 500 for the first time since 2012, 2013, the year I graduated high school. Was that the year, was that the year they made the second round? Yes, that was the year of Jason Kidd and Mello and Martin and Camby and Thomas and Artest. And Tyson. And Tyson. Yes, yes, yes. Frankie says it's a beautiful sight to wake up to. B-E-A, beautiful. Beautiful, lads. Beautiful. Shout out to everybody in the building. Man. Brian says, meanwhile, OG and Randall are out. Took care of business against a bad team, man. Yeah. Um, AJ McMecca, shout out to you and shout out to Lisa. Shout out to everybody watching today's show. Is it a coincidence that the Knicks become NBA title contenders with RJ and Randall out of the lineup? going to get me killed. I don't know. You're going to get me killed. I didn't say it. I'm asking questions. Danny McGrath. What up, Danny? Says we will take the three seed, man. Half you game up on Cleveland now. We are a half game up on Cleveland, and I believe two games up on the Magic in the fifth seed. Correct. Let's go. Let's go. The big sneeze. That's what I've been calling him since he got here. Gregory says, wow, that was hard, Coop. Oh, was hard. Did you spit bars? I, I, I just asked a question, that's all. Oh, yeah, exactly. You're trying to get me killed up here. <laughs> Look, I mean, whenever I talk about RJ, everyone just calls me a bully. What's up, Stax? What's up, Stax? Stax. Frankie says no Randall slander. We didn't slander him. No slander? No slander. No slander. We're getting closer and closer to making Patrick Seatman, who did not want to do the show tonight, a beer boot to start Friday's show. We're up to 690 now. 690. Yes, we are. I'll update. Shout out to my guy who just came in with a $5 super chat, Bill Peterfriend. Oh, no, that was a long time ago. I don't know where that came from. It was, uh, I don't even know where it went. My screen is now frozen. Gregory Williams. Gregory Williams. There it is. My screen is frozen. If we pass 985 tonight, Patrick Seidman has to do a beer boot to start Friday's show. And if we get there tonight, I'm doing a beer boot. That's my offer. The game is over. It's a long way to go. But I would love to make Seeps, who doesn't know about this, have to do a beer boot to start Friday's show. You just want to grab the stats? We'll just go over those. There's no yeah, let's do post it. game. I'll just do one tomorrow. Terrence Newman says, good call in the game, Marshall. We appreciate you. Thank you for being here, and thank you for the kind words, my man. Um, it's sometimes hard, in my opinion, to keep everybody engaged and the chat active when you beat a team like that. But um, you guys keep the chat alive. You guys keep it, make it easy. So shout out to everybody in the building today. Vasquez says, "What happened to hashtag Knicks?" Um. I always just answer your guys' questions anyways. I just answer your questions anyways. Dave says Dante DiVincenzo now two away from Nick's record for threes in a season. That is correct. Dante DiVincenzo was two three-pointers made from setting the all-time season single record for most three-pointers made. He's such a Nick. He is so good. Stacks says, damn, I missed the stream because it's the shitty Raptors. Dead. Tony says, can't wait to take it from the scrub. 
Oh, yeah, he's getting the record. Artie Rock. Thank you, brother. Artie Rock, you're a legend, my man. Thank you for always showing love. Got some Knicks Giants news. Um, sources say Giants are scheduling to send a contingent to Ann Arbor, Michigan on Easter Sunday for a private workout with Michigan quarterback J.J. McCarthy. How about it? G5 Wees says Marsh, we're in third. We are. Matthew Smithson says Marsh got talent. Ah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I'm just here. You're looking at the best flag football quarterback in the United States of America. No, 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 no. Not not now. Maybe one day in the past. Nope says we should be second in a matter of time. I believe we're now. Let me double check. Standings. So we were two and a half games behind Milwaukee. They did not play today. So now it's just two games is how that works. If you're two and a half and you win and they don't. You are two. two. Two? Yep. Two games behind the two seed. Crazy, crazy, crazy. As Gregory Williams coming in with a $10 super chat. Shout out to my man Gregory Williams showing major love tonight. He says, because of this chat, I was able to keep up with the New York Knicks before I get a decent streaming app. Big ups to Marshall. Big ups to you, man. Thank you Shout for giving you, us Gregory. a chance. Um, I'm glad I could hold up my end of the bargain. Um, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that, man. That means a lot. That's mad love. That's mad love. Shout out to my guy, Greg Williams. We appreciate it. Upstate great says, holy shit, Seeps is back. Seeps is not back. Seeps flaked. Seeps flake. That's why we're trying to get him to make it do a beer boot on Friday. Juan says, Roger, watch this in the streams. Yes. <laughs> he says, I just keep the stream on mute. That's funny. What about Dante DiVincenzo tonight? Only shooting threes. <laughs> That's all he has to do for this team, really. 5 of 12 from 3 for Dante. Able to score 16 points tonight. Um, Went 5 of 12 from 3, which is really good, but it felt quiet. It did feel quiet. He is going to win or lose some games for the Knicks in the playoffs. You come out and you make eight threes in a playoff game, that can swing it. And his ability and his readiness and willingness to catch and fire from downtown really makes this Knicks team hard to stop on offense. Um, He's a shooter, man. He's a shooter. He can shooter, light shoot. it up. He's lighting it up. Daniela Martinez. Thank you for the super chat. Bulls and Pacers are playing. No stream. Um, No. You got to ask Seeps. Seeps uh, is at home. Seeps is at home. He does the Bulls channel. He didn't want to do the Knicks game. Daniela, Seeps is your guy. Seeps is your guy. I don't know where he is. Anthony Danaher. Shout out to the Knicks boys and Martian Coop. Love your work. Best live channel on YouTube. Shout out hey, to you, my man. The only reason this channel is awesome is because of people like you, Anthony. People that tune in. People that show love. Did Wait, what did DiVincenzo finish with? 16. Six. My prize picks hit, baby. My prize picks hit. We make some money tonight. That's why you use prize picks. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. Jonathan News says, so glad Brunson got the whole fourth quarter off. Me too. 28 points, 28 minutes for night. Somehow freaking McBride still plays 20, 39 minutes. <laughs> Shout out to Price Picks. Ted's going to Ted's, man. Davidov in the chat. What's up, Davidov? What's up, Davidov? Give me some eye emojis in the chat for the GOAT Nick Davidov. Josh Hart. I didn't notice him many times tonight, and he still finds nope. a way to get 7.6 rebounds. 10 assists. You can kind of fill up the stat sheet when you look about it. Just five field goals taken tonight. Three of five, one of three from three. He has six um, six triple doubles since January. Pretty good, man. Six triple doubles in his career. Uh, Look, I don't know these where... Are the these are the first triple doubles of his career. And, and all awesome. of them have come in the past two months. That's crazy. 
Um, he's been great. I don't know where the Knicks would be without him amongst all the injuries. Like what a beautiful sight it is I'm looking at seeing the New York Knicks in the three seed. Patrick Seatman called me a madman when I said it two months ago. There's no way that the, there's no way the cat slide. There's no way that that, that, that. fuck off seats. That's why you live in the penthouse and he lives in the basement. <laughs> He's so game to game. He's so game to game. In the same week, Seeps has told me the Knicks can't do it in the playoffs and they're going to win the finals in the same week. Hartenstein, in 18 minutes, 15 points, four rebounds, one assist. Jalen Brunson, in 18, 28 minutes, ball it again. Mitchell Robinson, the story of today's game. Return. He returned for the first time since early December, and he plays 12 minutes. And he's eight points, two rebounds, two blocks, and a couple of offensive rebounds, a couple of tap outs to keep the possessions alive. His presence was felt. Um, he's been good, man, or he was good, and it's good to see him back. So happy to have him back. So happy to have him back. It's it it's 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 all coming together for the Knicks, it seems like. Seems like it's coming together. Brunson. Twenty eight minutes, twenty six point seven assists, easy work. He does it. Easy work. Another night at the office for JB. Not another night at the office for this guy though. <laughs> Nine of fourteen from three for Miles McBride? 39 minutes because Tibbs had to play him 10 minutes in the fourth quarter. Is he one of the best players on the Knicks? He has been. He really, really has been. Um, he really, really has been. It's the development of his game has really, really changed the trajectory of this team. I mean, I don't know if I'm ready to say that he is a – and, and, and maybe I just need to drink the fucking Kool-Aid. Maybe I just need to... You you already said you're out the window, in. no shoot. He's been fucking good, man. It's, it's scary how good he's been. Davidov says, I love McBride. How can you not? How can you not? Shout to Jaden for the super chat, brother. Says, feel like when we were healthy, feel like when we are healthy, we are a super team. I don't love the team term super team, but I do believe that when we are healthy, we could beat any team in the NBA. I really do believe that. And it's not because of tonight. It's just because of the players on this team. And credit to Tibbs as well. Tibbs has coached his butt off this year. He's gotten the absolute most out of everything everything he's been handed. Johnson, you says McBride plays the best alongside Brunson. I actually like McBride as the two guard next to Brunson. Yeah, and that... That's kind of the meta when you have Brunson is you want another guy who can handle the ball a little bit but can also play off ball. And I didn't know McBride could play off ball the way he has been lately. Dude, he's been on fire. He's developed that part of his game. He has been on fire. I'm going to pull up some Deuce McBride stats real quick. Precious Achua, 19 points, 13 boards tonight. 8 of 4 from the field, missed his lone three-pointer. Precious is playing well for this team too. He um, really is. Tibbs is going to have tough decisions in the playoffs to make. We saw a little two big man lineup with Precious and Hartenstein, wasn't it? No, so, Precious and Robinson. We saw Precious and Robinson. Let's go since the All-Star break. Deuce McBride. Not counting tonight. Not counting tonight. My stats don't have it. Not counting tonight. Excluding tonight. Excluding tonight, the last 16 games for Deuce, 11 points per game, 2.6 assists, a steal per night, and 48% from the field, and 40% from three on five threes per night. And that's not counting tonight where he shot 64% from three. Um, what more can you say about the kid? I don't know how he's not a major part of this rotation in the playoffs. And... Last year, I thought that whenever Brunson was out of the game and McBride was in, it really hurt the Knicks. But what if you just run the starting lineup when Brunson is out and McBride's just in as the point guard? Like, that's how I would rest Brunson in the playoffs. 
I'd have all my starters in, and I would just have McBride in for Brunson. But I also want Brunson to play next to McBride. Brunson's going to play 40 minutes a night in the playoffs, so if you're doing that, it'll be at a four-minute spurt. I yeah. think McBride can handle that. I'll never forget game six when he came in and it struggled, but it's what it is. All right. We've been live for three hours. We're going to the final countdown. The deal of the day is if we pass $985.14 in Super Chats, we are about 200, 985 minus 713. We are 272 away. It's a long way to go. I get it. I'm going to put a shot clock up of five minutes. If we can get to 985 in the next five minutes, when we go live on the channel on Friday, Patrick Seatman has to start the show with a beer booth because he was supposed to produce, produce tonight's show. He did not do it. Uh, he backed out. He flaked on us. That's why we call him Flaky Seeps. And uh, we're going to make him pay for it. Or you Absolutely. Guys, you guys will. You guys will. Exactly. So I am going to start the clock. We got five minutes. If we want to get there, cool. If not, cool. I am also going to do a boot if we get to 985 and 15 cents. If we get there, I will do the boot tonight, and Seeps will do the boot to start th Friday's show. We're right there. And Daniela Martinez coming in, showing some love. I agree with Jaden. When there's good chemistry, there's potential. That's why the Knicks are on fire. Big win for my Knicks. Also love how you guys are breaking down the gameplay. Thank you for the very kind words, Daniela. Thank you, Daniela. And that's why uh, I'm in the opinion that you just continue to roll with heart and size as a starter. There's something there. There is chemistry. And I think that Hartenstein just kind of complements the starting lineup better offensively, and I don't think there's a major gap between him and Robinson on defense. Um, I would continue to start Hartenstein, and I believe that is going to be the plan for the New York Knicks the remainder of this season. You got some good going, like you mentioned. Um, let's ride it till the wheels fall off. Knicks were the best team in January. They're 15-2 and two in Hartenstein and Oan and Obi play together. I'll take that. I'll take that. Tony! Says best I could do. Brother, this is more than enough. Y'all don't have to do any of the super chat. You don't have to support the channel. And the fact that you guys do, um, that's major love to me. Drops four, your, he says, much love. Give it to Nope. You want these to go to Nope for the raffle ticket, Tony? I got gotcha. you. Nope. Yeah. My guy, Nope, getting in on the raffle. Shout out to him. We'll make sure that happens. As Nick DeVito coming in with a $20 super chat. Give me some eye emojis in the chat for Nick DeVito. Enjoy the game, or I hope you enjoyed the game, and get back home safe. That's a long drive. Uh, yeah, that's probably a six-hour drive back to NYC. That's a long drive. Um, are you driving, or you got a driver with you? Or you got a driver or did, with Or is you? he taking the PJ? You never know with DeVito. He could be on the team plane for all I know. Davidov is a legend. As Billy Valdez coming in with a $10 super chat. Shout out to Valdez. He said driving back. Drive safe, brother. Drive safe, my man. As Billy Valdez. Oh! oh! Three-point goal. Johnson, you! Super chat from Johnson. You. Let's go. Johnson, you. Known Toronto Raptors fan. It's his birthday today. For him to do Johnson, that is you, incredible. You're a legend. All in the raffle. I got you, brother. I got you. Wow. Johnson, you. Johnson, you is a real one. Always has been since the moment he joined this channel. As Johnny Blaze in the chat says, Johnson, you ate a serum, but I don't even know what that means. Ate a... Yeah. Well, I don't know what that means. He's eating up, though. Shout out, Johnson, you. Shout baby. out, Johnson, you. 
Coop, we're right there. We're right there. We're 100 away. We are essentially away. Uh, we're essentially 100 times. McAir says, extend the timer. We're going to get there. We're at 430. I'll extend it to seven and a half minutes. We'll go three more minutes. Three more minutes. We are 100 and what? We are 122 away. We're 122 away from Patrick Seatman doing a beer boot to start Friday's show. Tony says, nope, you don't want the raffle entries, brother? We'll figure it out. Says, I can't get a suspicious package. The man is really 15. <laughs> he might be. He is. He's born in 2010, he said. That means he's 13. Nope, that's wild. He says, I can't get <laughs> it wouldn't. It's not suspicious. <laughs> Tell him it's from your favorite YouTuber. And y'all, it, uh, fucking hilarious. Nope. He's nope, here every show. He's here, here. He's on Knicks. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. He's here. He's there. He's As the market. Bronx boy coming in with a $10 super chat. I'll tell my wife three is 10 all the time. <laughs> you can't tell the difference. They don't know. This dude is incredible. <laughs> have you ever done stand-up comedy? If you have, please send me the videos. Please send me the videos. As we got a three-point three goal, goal, Nick Davidov! <laughs> Davidov says, put me in the raffle. You are in the raffle. Brother, I'm I hope you're seeps. thirsty, Seeps. I'm calling Seeps right now. Anthony Danaher, the man, the myth, the, the legend. legend, the March Bank competition winner. And you know what's the best part about Anthony Danaher winning the competition? He's giving the jersey away to somebody else. That's unbelievable. He's giving it to Joey DeLuca, who never misses a show, who's here every day, who shows love. Anthony Danaher, you're a special man, brother. You're a special man. We're lucky to have you as a supporter of this channel. And the sheer kindness to... That's special, man. That, that, that's freaking crazy. You're a legend, brother. You're a legend. Seeps didn't answer because of course of the Seeps fraud. didn't answer. Yeah. Yeah. Terrence Myers coming with a ten dollar super chat. Thank you to Terrence. He says, Great job tonight, guys. Wish I had one of the F Rolly shirts. Would be wearing it right now. I need an F Rolly shirt. Do we get the F Rolly shirts going? I need one. Would you guys actually buy those? Because our bosses, they're not the biggest merchandise people. Fair enough. But if we can sell them on that people are going to buy these shirts, you guys, we will put them up for sale. Do we literally just want it to say hashtag F, F Rolly, Rolly. Yeah. And, and, and then that's it? Maybe the Knicks Now logo on it? I'm down with that. All right, I'm going to go fill up the boot. Time and the Buckeye says, did we pass... Yes, we did. We were able to pass Patrick Seaman in Super Chats, and he's going to have to start Friday's show with a beer boot. He doesn't even know it. He doesn't even know it. All three. Where are we at? We are at 1,000. That's what YouTube is telling me, Johnson U. We are at 1,000. 
Davidov says, yes, I am. McHair says, Marsh has to drink a boot. You betcha. Coop's picking it up, uh, filling it up right now. Coop's filling it up with the happy dad. As Greg Williams comes in with a $10 super chat, says, Anthony Danaher does it again. Friday's show is already on fire. Seep has no idea what's coming. I can't wait to get home. He probably won't be there because he's a flake. And I'll tell him, hey, bro, um, you got a beer beer, bo uh, beer, sh uh, beer boot to start Friday's show. A Nick Snow logo and hashtag F Rolly. I'm in on that. I'm in on that. Greg Williams. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Brian Fitzgerald says, see you next game chat. Props to Coops. Big up to Gregory Williams. Real one. That's a fact. Big up to you, my brother. Davidoff says Friday game is against the Spurs. Yes, it is. Joey, if Anthony Danaher is serious, then you, then yes, I will need your jersey size, whatever jersey you want. If you want us to customize it for you, I'll need your size, whatever jersey you want, or if it's customized as well as your address, brother. Johnson U says they ran out of bangs at the store. <laughs> They ran out of bangs. No, we can always bang, Johnson. Bronx Boy says should find a way to make him double boot. You want us to make Seep's double boot? <laughs> I don't know if he could do that. I don't know if he could do that. Seep's is soft. Dana Hurst says, I don't know what time the game is Friday, but I might be danger. Zuki Zook says Marsh v. Coop 1v1. <laughs> we don't need it. Coop's cooking me, dude. Coop's cooking me. Marsh might win. If we went 1v1, Marsh would win 11 to 2. What is that word that Nope used? That is the can, can and, can and nickel? canonical. I have no idea what that means. I have no idea what that means. Beat the Spurs. Gregory Williams says, I have a bottle. That is begging to be opened. Open that hoe up. I mean, I'm down to stay and party. I'm down. I got this. I got the happy dad boot right here. We don't have anywhere to be. We got nowhere to be. William Burton says the statement jersey is fire. It is. William Burton got the statement jersey. He was our bang leader in February. He chose a statement jersey, number 11, Jalen Brunson. Yeah, the 15-year-old schooling you with SAT word. Yeah, no, I, I, exactly. Yeah, I, I really have no idea what that means. Shout out to you, though. Sionical. Nope. Sonical? Canonical. No idea what it means. No idea what it means. Marsh, think the Knicks can beat the Celtics at this point? I do. To Johnson, to Danaher. To everybody in the building, shout out to y'all. Let's go. Little spillage. Oh, that was brutal. That was tough. That was tough. <sighs> Second boot, only 33 pounds. <laughs> I definitely gained It's water weight, weight, though. Uh, yeah, maybe. Liquid weight, it goes all the way out when you just go pee. <laughs> I wish that's how liquor That worked. is. You'll be lit, but you'll pee it all out. All right. BG says you guys need to do fan mail. You would get the... <laughs> I uh, am scared what, what the Bronx boy would send through the mail. The Bronx boy would find a way to send a possum in the mail. To no doubt. Me. No doubt. Joey DeLuca says, do I hit you up on Instagram, Marshall, to give you my address? Yes, sir, Joey. 
Johnson U says we had to make the hard decisions, give up IQ and Grimes to the light at the end of the tunnel. McBride has the best part of trading McBride, uh, trading Grimes been the arrival of Deuce. <clears throat> oh, my blood's. We're gonna make Seeps. We like the happy dad boots. We're gonna make Seeps do a Miller Light boot. A Miller Light boot yeah. from Seeps. He claims they're protein shakes. He does. He does. It's about that time. Still have 350 people watching. You guys are crazy. Bronx Boy says the show ain't long enough. Johnson says <laughs> he's surprised I'm not rooming with Martian Seeps. We leave that to Rolly. I'm, a, I'm, I'm in a crib by myself. I live literally right around the corner from them. We place. are neighbors. I can walk to their, their abode pretty quickly. Look, I'm down to stay and hang. I'm down to stay and hang. Oh, I'm chilling. Nope says we need it a little longer. You're maybe Pause. a little young for this. But that's what she said, brother. Pause. That's what she said, brother. Nope, you are 14, so when you get older, we'll teach you. Nope, do you watch Sketch? Is that his name? What's up, brother? Nope, do you watch Sketch? <laughs> he, wa he watched Sketch. Don't lie to us. Everyone watches Sketch. Sketch is a goat. Sketch is a goat. Monday, Monday. Check Tuesday. Special teams, special players. You don't watch Sketch? Nope, check him out. Do you watch people play Madden? He's the best. He's the best. Oh, man. You saw him play with Sauce the other day? Hilarious. So good. Rest up. We need a Giants now update. They're going to trade up for JJ, and I'm going to puke. We're live on Giants tomorrow. We're live on Giants tomorrow. The Giants do not need to freaking take JJ McCarthy. Get take neighbors team. and just be, be good. Exactly. Neighbors is a stud. Joey, you're a real one, brother. Shout out, Joey. Johnson says, do we extend Presh the Chua? Is he a free agent? Yeah, Achua and Hartenstein will both be free agents. I think there's probably, they probably want to bring him back. I could see some team being dumb and giving Precious 15 million. Maybe not 15, but like 12. Does he get the full mid level exception? Would you give him the full mid level exception? Which is like 12 and a half million? I don't know if I would. I got to see the playoffs unfold. Got to see it first. I got to see how each player is used. And I don't know. I got to see how, how this team plays before I make anyone any decisions on that. Zuki Zook says, are you actually a Giants fan? No. I actually, I'm actually a Cowboys fan, bro. I actually don't even like the Knicks. Oh, my stomach hurts. Nope says... Five years, fifty million for both. You are not getting Hartenstein for ten million a year. You are not. Uh, I wish. Daniela says, "Bet Giants need to get it together." Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Tony says, "My internal clock's so messed up." Um, BG, you ain't gotta apologize for cursing. I curse all the time on oh. accident. Tony says, I really can't see the Knicks holding on to Precious, I Heart, and Mitch. That'll be tough, and, which scares me because I think Mitch might get traded, but I don't know. I but don't know. you have to sign Hartenstein first before you trade Mitch. Yes, yes. And do the Knicks draft a center. ESPN mocked, mocked uh, Eve Misi out of Baylor to yeah. the Knicks. Johnson uses says, predict our record for the next 10 games. Nope says, unless we do a little bargaining, do shady shit. Dana Her, thank you, brother. Shout out, Dana Her. Thank you, brother. Legend. An absolute legend. All right, let me pull up the next schedule. All right. So you got San Antonio. I'm going to say that's a win. Should be. You got OKC on Sunday. I'm going to say it's probably a loss. 
and I think the Knicks can win, but it's going to be tough. They can easily win that game, but just for the counting's sake, let's say they lose that one. So one and one. Shea not playing tonight. The Thunder are up one on the Rockets, three minutes left. Shea doesn't play, the Knicks will win. And even if Shea plays, the Knicks can still win. Um, it's so hard because I truly believe the Knicks can beat anybody. But for the for the for the sake of it, is he what's his injury? I'm not sure what it is. I don't quote me, but I think it's just second night of a back to back they're resting him. Gotcha. Then you got at Miami. That'll be tough, but I got us beating Miami. So F Roley in the Heat. F Roley in the Heat. That makes you two and one. Then you got Sacramento in New York. I'm gonna say it's a win. Three and one. Then you got Chicago. I'm gonna say win. That's four and one. Milwaukee at Milwaukee, I'm going to say it's a loss. So you're four and two. Then you got Chicago again. I'm going to say five and two. Then you're at Boston. Boston's probably going to be resting players three games left in the season. I'm going to go six and two. Then Brooklyn, I'm going to go seven and two. And then I'm going to say you lose to Chicago with one of the three games. So that's seven and three. I, I got seven and three the rest the last ten. Let's go seven and three in the last ten. I believe you win two out of the three versus Chicago, and it could even be three of three. So I got seven and three is where I'm at. Seven and three is where I'm at. I could see six and four, but I could see some Knicks, the Knicks winning games they're probably not supposed to. And seven and three probably gets you the three seed. Probably. Yeah, you go seven and three, you might be competing for the two. Nope, you go ten and oh, you're, you're going to be the two seed. Yeah, I think Boston will probably be resting by then. I don't see them playing their guys all that many minutes in that game when they have the number one seed locked up and they have nothing to play for. Joey D, I'll keep my eye. I'll check that out for you, brother. We are due to beat Milwaukee, Vasquez. That's a good point. And that could be a game that kind of decides the two seed. Because if you beat Milwaukee, that changes from a two-game lead to a one-game lead. Yep. Greg, let's go seven and three, eight and two. How about that? How about just fucking ten and zero? And let's get the two seed. And let's go. And work. Johnson, you made a good point as well. By that game with the Celtics, they should be resting guys. Yeah. You know they they should have the one seed wrapped up by then. Agreed. Agreed. All righty, we've been live for three and a half hours. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go to bed. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Real ones. Y'all are. Y'all are legendary. Uh, um, Tony says no post game. Uh, we went through all the stats. I'm going to have a new video on the channel tomorrow. I want to talk about something else tomorrow. It'll be a secret. I don't want to spill the beans on that. But we'll have a video on the channel tomorrow. And then live Friday. And then live Friday. And then a video on the channel Saturday. And then live Sunday. William Burton. Thank you, bro, brother. Tony says, I like seeing it live. I know. I'm an a-hole. There's no... Ah, fuck. This was the post game. This was the post game. <laughs> the boots were the post game. The boots, the bangs, the hollers for the dollars. Tony, <laughs> you're good. You're good everywhere you go, Tony. Michael... Everybody's different. We got different flavors. All right. Love y'all. We appreciate you guys. Seriously, the support you guys show is it's incredible. We love you guys. We appreciate you. Let's go get the let's go get the two seed.